techniques. Not. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm I'm vamping for you right now. You, no, what you're doing <laughs> is you're encouraging your own addiction, and <laughs> and I have concerns. <laughs> Fair. That's very fair. <laughs> that is that is the laugh of a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Because we're going to be going live in. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome, welcome to Hello. this one-off Sunday exclusive here on RQ Streams uh, with me and all of my friends. How are we doing, guys? Good, good. Quite happy, quite, quite, you know, calm. Very calm. I'm sorry that we're a little bit late, <laughs> by the way. We've been having some technical difficulties on the on the back end, which have sort of, basically Discord sometimes likes to throw a bit of a wobbly. But we're here now, and it's great to have all of you here. Um, so, Anil. Yes. Welcome back. <laughs> it's good to be back. Do you want to- Hey, talk everyone. <laughs> Do you want to talk us through what we're going to be doing today? So, on today's show, uh, um, I have some lovely, lovely guests with me because Mike thought it would be a good idea to uh, to have another go. Don't pin at, this uh, on me. I didn't come up with this idea on my own. <laughs> okay, collaboratively you decided that it would be a good idea to demonstrate your geography knowledge once again. And this time, bring along a few friends. Uh, yeah. So that is why we have the very lovely Helen and the very lovely Nico joining Mike in a friendly bout of competition uh, to see whose geography knowledge is uh, the yeah, best at Rusty Towers. Uh, oh man, I EA Podcast, thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> hey. Hello. Thank you, welcome. Alistair. Thank you, Marguerite. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome. welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh my lord. Oh, goose crimes. <laughs> goose crimes. Oh man. <laughs> you don't even I, I know. <laughs> you don't even know what's about to happen. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't guarantee goose crimes. We might. We, we might. Uh, we might be able to uh, provide some geo crimes. However, as um, crimes. <clears throat> <laughs> Grimes, oh Grimes. no. <laughs> <laughs> grimy, grimy. We, we, actually, to be fair, we don't have the license for any of that music, so. Uh... No, no, no. Which is why we're playing some lovely chill hop. Primography. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So, those of you who have been here um, over a year now, wow, over a year, geez. Over a year. Um, yeah, well, people have got their 12 month um, cows, dude. Mm. May remember back in when was it? April, March or April of last year. Exactly. Uh, we did a geography quiz stream um, as part of the rewards for Game Blast 2020. Um, and Mike very bravely submitted <laughs> to the uh, to the questions that I created for him. Bravely. Um, and we're basically going to be doing a repeat of that. If you did, if you missed this the first time around, you can go and catch up on uh, that stream over on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure one of the mods will put a link in the uh, in the chat for you. Uh, and thank you very much ahead of time to the mods for this stream. Um, things may get a little bit chaotic. Um, may but, uh, <laughs> already have. All, no, in no. fact, no. already have. <laughs> oh wow! Um, thank you very much, Tafio. I haven't got access to the um, uh, to the stream, so uh, no, to the I notification do, stream. We're already so, on a hype you... train. People are already uh, actually. Anil, just before we announce the hype train, I, I'm a little bit yeah, uncomfortable. I'm... Do you mind if I just reset myself in my chair? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Hold on. I, 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 I should. Yeah. I should uh, probably do. Oh crap. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> I should uh, probably. Oh do no, you. Uh, Anil, you, uh, you knocked yeah, your oh. microphone out of the way. Oh, I no. know. I might have to just reattach it to the desk. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> he's actually destroyed his microphone in the name yep. of a merch uh, plug. <laughs> One moment, chat. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, oh no! 
Anyway, while Anil is bravely resetting his microphone stand, um, yeah, so today we are going to be going through part two, fundamentally, of the geography quiz with me and Nico and Helen as contestants. Um, I, I, well, we, we had a, a conversation uh, about this, and I didn't say help i need support but what i actually <laughs> said was do you want to do you want to come do it too uh, and nico and helen very kindly volunteered to, to step up <laughs> so helen and Nico. i mean i think what i said was i'm terrible at geography <laughs> so yes i mean also yes but i think we're all on a mutual understanding of that so just for the purposes of the audience because i'm sure i I'm sure that everyone knows you guys, but just for the purposes of the audience, do you guys want to tell them about you? We'll start with Helen. Um, hi. Uh, I am. I really want to say the best Rusty Quiller because that's like a meme now. But also, I don't want to insult all of my lovely friends. Um, so I play Azu on Rusty Quill Gaming. I play Enola on Stella Firma. Um, I play Laverne on the Magnus Archives. I host Enthusiasm. I am the voiceover person for Outliers and, and also just work generally at Rusty Quill as a sensitivity editor. That's that's all of my things. That's <laughs> I feel like you're overcompensating because you knew my introduction is going to be dynamite. So you try to fill it out as much as you can. Yeah. <laughs> I had Hi. to. I ha yeah, it was all fluff. All <laughs> hey up. I'm that there, Nico. I, I feel the Yorkshire quote in Rusty Quill so that Rusty Quill won't get in trouble. Um, I am the Magnus Archives vocal cut editor for season five. I am the Wednesday slot streamer at here at Rusty Quill Streams. I am a cameo in Inexplicables. Nico, why are you yelling into everyone's I am, ears? I am. Lord. I am. It's. It's just what happens. This is. Don't. Don't. Don't try and censor me. Uh, I am in episode one and episode. Oh, I'm really sorry, but Nico's. Nico just cut off. It's. It's so unfortunate that that happened halfway through his introduction. Who could have caused this technical difficulties? Who could have caused this? No one knows. Uh, and, uh, I have a very under control jelly bean addiction. <laughs> Welcome to oh. the show. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, right. Go get back into the streaming mindset. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, right. Uh, um, so, before my microphone uh, decided to uh, emigrate um, on, on, on the basis of that merch plug, um, yes, the shirt, shirt, Mike and I are wearing. Uh, uh, patrons, you will have seen this design already, but for the rest of you, uh, yes, we have got some new Magnus Archives merch to celebrate the end of the show coming this Thursday. There are a bunch of new designs, including the one that Mike and I are wearing, uh, which is a Wheel of Fears, as designed by our very own April Sumner, who also did the um, I Was There at the End uh, t-shirt that Mike was so very helpfully modelling yesterday. Uh, yeah. Uh, go and catch the Hitman tree stream if you didn't see that. Uh, oh so, with all the admin out of the way... <laughs> Have we got all of the admin out of the way, Mike? I've I've been away for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got all of the admin out of the way. Good. And I've already okay. been told off for bullying Nico as well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the chat are very protective of him. They are. It's when you're little, when he's small. Nah, someone's gotta protect him, right? Ain't mm. gonna be me, so <laughs> <laughs> Nico, you know, you know I love you. You know I love you. <laughs> if someone can clip that, please. So I can... <laughs> I'd, I'd fight someone to the death for Nico, I think. Yes. <clears throat> Provided I had a rifle. Right. Um... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You, d you didn't need a rifle yesterday. All you need is a very handy wrench. That's true. <laughs> it was all... I, I love Hitman so much because the wrench physics is so goofy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sorry, mate. I've, ta I've taken this away okay. from you. 
we have okay huh okay well at least we're only 20 minutes in and not the half an hour before you <laughs> you started yesterday <laughs> so anyway good okay right oh centered centered, centered. right <laughs> so what we are going to do is we have many rounds of questions for which uh, our contestants can display their trivia knowledge um hopefully this isn't going to be too difficult or laggy because we're having to do some some really janky stuff in order to get this stream to work um but mike <laughs> if you would care to start the questions uh... oh yeah of course you ready <clears throat> yeah all right well we're on screen dude it's all right here so uh Talk us through round Master one. Adult. So, <laughs> round one is some general geography, yeah. Just to get you started. Oh, crap. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. You, I, I already feel in the game you. show mode. <laughs> yeah, my dad decided to ring just at that moment. Excellent. Uh, your daddy, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get, get your dad dialed in. We'll get your dad in on the show. Maybe he can oh, no, do no, these no, things. No, 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 no. You do not want my dad on stream. <laughs> and he'll stand for 2021 RQ streams. <laughs> you do not know what you're asking, folks. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with some, hopefully, relatively easy questions to, to just slide you into the mood of what this quiz will be. Yeah. Now, uh, chat, for purposes here, we're going to be doing this mostly in a round-robin style. Uh, so I'm going to be presenting questions to each uh, of our contestants individually. If they get the question wrong on presentation, then the other two are able to buzz in and steal the question. If they get it right, they get the point or points for it. Uh, this may vary between rounds slightly, but uh, we will see how it goes. Uh, you're also going to be testing an interesting new buzzer feature, which... <laughs> uh, let's hope this works. Uh, so, uh, this first round is on general geography. There are nine questions. You will each get three of them. They are worth one point each. Uh, All right, nine. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, Mike. Yes. Your first question. By generally accepted convention, how many continents are there? Oh, God. <laughs> I know, I'm having so many flashbacks. <laughs> I'm, having, really? I'm having so many flashbacks. Oh, dear God. Right. There are seven continents. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> I remembered something! <laughs> I did it! You have you have you have demonstrated memory and recall because this was uh, the this was the very first question that I asked Mike in last year's uh, oh uh, my God. as well. <laughs> One point for Mike. Yay! <laughs> End the game there, Mike wins. <laughs> On to question two, Nico. This one will be for you. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah. What name is given to the cooperative and economic union formed by Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg? Uh... Gods. No. Do you remember? Oh we... my god. Do you remember I we don't... had that conversation, Helen? Do you remember that conversation that we had? <laughs> <laughs> what the Mate, heck is... What is two plus two? Very good. <laughs> Nico, what is the real oh. sum of these two? <laughs> um, um, for chat purposes, please do not put answers in chat as uh, our contestants are, yeah, are looking at chat. chat but... <clears throat> <laughs> so. If you look at Belgium and you look at that there, Netherlands, you think they've got quite good food. And also beer. So is it the holy union of waffles? Final answer. I'm afraid your final answer is incorrect, Nico. Oh, so I am going to open this to Helen or Mike. Oh, no, Buzz I, in um, if you know the answer. Anil, I Oops. accidentally clicked. <laughs> I accidentally clicked and revealed uh, the answer to everyone. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, fine. You yeah, means you can't buzz in then. Sorry. Um, the answer is Benelux. Also, I Benelux have never team. heard of it. I've never no. heard of this thing. I have only really? ever heard of okay. Benelux being a decongestant. I, I didn't <laughs> know that this was a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yes, there. Uh, these three countries in northwestern Europe um, have very strong cultural and economic ties. So they decided to form a union and stick the first syllables of their country names together to form. Uh, Benelux, so bet ne lux be hmm. ne lux Damn. <laughs> Man. Uh, Maybe okay. we should have done Ellen. that with Rusty Quill. We could have just stuck the first couple of uh, letters of all of our names together. <laughs> oh, no. And created a whole <laughs> new brand. <sighs> I'm gonna write that put down. that on. Put that. Put that on an email and send it to Alex, Mike, and oh, we will uh, see what reception hey, it gets. You. <laughs> <laughs> I did several months ago. Ah, and what was the response? Uh, I'm waiting for one. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Mike, if we can move on to question three, please. Yeah, yeah, uh, sorry, we've done it. We're on question three. <clears throat> okay, Helen. <clears throat> what river flows from Nevada Mismi? to Belém, where it discharges into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh... No. <laughs> okay, I know what the Atlantic Ocean is, mm -hmm. but I have, I, uh, 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 Think, I mean, I'll, I'll just, correct. The Amazon River is the correct what? answer. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Helen, uh, you, oh my god! You did it! Wow, you did that's it! Amazing. Uh yes, flowing from the um uh flowing from uh flowing from its headwaters up in the Andes at Nevada Mismi to the Brazilian port of Belém at its mouth. Uh the Amazon uh is uh the longest or the second longest river in the world. Depending on who you ask, uh, <clears throat> Helen's gone. <laughs> the, wrink <laughs> the wrinkles in Helen's brain are so deep right now. <laughs> it's yeah. like galaxy brain. Yeah, See, like I, I will say, mm, I have pitched. I, I like for the and for the purposes of the chat, I have pitched this down a little bit from last time. There There's will still be some difficult questions. There will be geography. questions of a variety of difficulties. Uh, but I have pitched things down a little bit from last time. Uh, Jay, um, Jay Adams has a message for you, Anil. <laughs> is it, Jay Adams 2002 <laughs> says, is now a bad time to say that I failed geography? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure passing or failing geography is any sort of qualification for being able to do this quiz. Uh, uh, this is all down to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, so, I will take full blame for this quiz. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. Um, question up. four is for Mike. Uh, oh, mm. God. Uh, the Rockies, the Cascade Range, the Laurentian Mountains, and the Mackenzies are major mountain ranges of which country? Uh... Holy shit, I think I know this. I, because, because in the last time we did a geography quiz, you asked me about mountain ranges. And I remember we talked about like where the highest peaks were of specific mountain ranges. And I'm fairly confident that Anil is pitching me easy questions <laughs> i think this is the i think this is the us <laughs> is that the, your final answer that's my final answer i'm afraid it's not the usa no! this oh, is no. open to uh open to helen or nico helen would you care to take a guess could you repeat that you cut out unfortunately I said, is it Canada? Correct. Sir. Helen scores the point. Oh, of course, I was, I was too Austria. far was down. <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, the Rockies do extend through Canada and into the US. Uh, um, uh, but yeah, the Cascades, the Laurentians, oh. and the Mackenzies are, are major parts of the Canadian mountains. 
Damn it! Helen, you've stolen one from me this time, but I will come <laughs> back! I'm sorry, I did not... I'm sorry! Uh, <laughs> don't, say, don't say I'm sorry, it's okay. Question again. five is for Nico. <clears throat> uh, just waiting for it to come up on yeah, screen. Yeah, you're on, you're on. Alright, Nico. Honshu is the largest and most populous island of which Asian nation? Indonesia? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mike or Helen, would you care to steal? Um... Helen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like I, re I regret. Well, I, I regret. regret. Um... It's Japan. Correct. Oh, Helen steals again. Uh, what? Yeah, too I thought it'd be too obvious. I went for like what other countries are like islandy. I was like, well, <laughs> Indonesia is kind of islandy. Indonesia is very islandy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> so that's heckin' islands there, Neeks. Heckin' <laughs> heckin' islands right there. <laughs> lots and lots of islands. Uh, question six is for Helen. Uh, all right, I think Helen's having some connectivity issues. We can oh, hear Helen, okay. but, uh, but your your screen is frozen. Yeah. I am struggling to hear Helen a little bit, though. Um... You could, have you turned her up? Yeah, oh. like Helen is two hundred percent in my um, Discord. Uh, oh, Helen's almost two hundred percent though. Yes. <clears throat> okay, Helen. Yeah, question so six. really, it's four hundred percent. I don't know. Yes. You're good. Okay, yeah. Maybe right. just we just dealing with a little bit of lag, yeah. Um <clears throat> this country in West Africa is the continent's oldest republic, has its capital at Monrovia, and is currently led by former footballer George Weyer. Oh, this is really tough. Cause I have there was an answer that came to mind, but I don't think it's correct. Um uh oh. Oh, the tension is killing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Helen is like the master of the dramatic pause. <laughs> That's why she's the best rusty quilter. It's just the lack. <laughs> <laughs> um. I know the answer that I have in mind is not right, so I'm just going to say Ghana. Like, I don't. Uh, alas, no. That's not correct, though. It's not the correct answer. Uh, Mike or Nico, would one of you care to buzz? West Africa is the continent's oldest republic. West Africa? Uh... Mike. I'm going to say... Morocco. Incorrect. <laughs> Nico, you have free reign so, like... at... Not only am I trying to figure out what country it could possibly be, I'm trying to figure out any countries in West Africa. And for some reason, my mind is only letting me think of South Africa, which I'm not entirely sure is part of West Africa, because I can't remember <laughs> how it divides up. So... Um, the answer tends to be in its name, Nico. <laughs> but, like, but like, I didn't know if there was just like West Africa and then East Africa, and then that's like the divide in the... <laughs> <laughs> what about okay <laughs> what about reevaluating no. oh <laughs> where's that where's that disney movie where they go to <laughs> the animals go to <laughs> oh this is so bad <laughs> Mm, 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 no, I pass. I can't even think no, of a single on, country. Go, I passed. Oh, Nico, please just say it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of it. Because I know exactly what you're thinking of. It's, like, mm, it's yes. not Zootopia, I know. it's the other one. It's mm, no. Madagascar. Which is Madagascar. On Madagascar. <laughs> The Incorrect. Of West Africa. <laughs> is it, is it not over there? there? <laughs> okay. It's where we uh, should have gone in order to find this answer. A Liberia. The answer, the answer is oh. Liberia. Yeah, that's a country in West Africa. That's correct. Uh, oh, it's not okay. even a Disney film. Well, I'm learning stuff today. 
moving on to question seven. We, we always learn stuff Mike. on this channel, mate. We always learn <laughs> stuff on this channel. <laughs> yeah, this is an edutainment channel for today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Arid, semi-arid, coastal, and cold are the four general classifications of this inhospitable geographical feature. Is that who's that to? Uh, that is Mike. You have first. You have first shot at this answer. Oh lord. <clears throat> Okay, Arid, there are very few places in the world that I know would be called all of these things, because Arid, I mean, basically it's Yorkshire, but like, <laughs> Arid is, oh. a, Arid is like very dry, semi-Arid is sort of moist, coastal is by the coast, and cold is, um... Opposite hot. Yeah, the opposite are hot, so... yeah. The four general classic. Now, the question I have really is: Do we mean all at the same time? Because I no. think there's only one place I know that would meet that. I'm not. I'm not looking for a place. I'm looking for a type. Of, I'm looking for a geographical feature. Yeah, but you can I'm have thinking... arid ones, coastal ones, cold ones, or semi-arid. Oh, ones. so they could be everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. they are found all over the world. Oh, yeah, I should read as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh man. Arid, semi-arid, coastal, and cold. Deserts. Correct. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yes. That one. That was a. That was a. Yeah. That was a full was game of air. Desert. <laughs> Mike yeah, with I'm another point on the board. Nico, Nico's getting serious already. Yeah. yeah. I need to get a point in this entire <laughs> stream. That's my goal. Okay, moving on to question eight for Nico. Uh, <clears throat> We're up. Yeah. The Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal, the Timor Sea, and Mozambique Channel are all parts or all regions of which ocean? Uh, Oh, what's that sea called? So, the Atlantic Sea is between America and the UK. The Pacific uh, Sea Ocean. is... Ocean. 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 They're the big ones. The Pacific yes. Ocean is between America and East Asia. There's more than two... There's not... The, the ocean... Yeah, there are more than two oceans, Nico. Oh, God, this is this is this is a hard this. This is a hard. Do you know the... how it feels now? When you watch that old geography quiz back, this is how <laughs> it feels. <laughs> Cause you've got it'll be a, it's like above Antarctica and it's not an ocean, so it can, it's not a sea, so it's not like the Indian Sea or the Black Sea. It's the um <laughs> I can't just say oceanic ocean, can I? <laughs> no, that would be a little bit of a tautology. Uh, oh, no. The Antarctic Ocean? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Uh, Helen or Mike, would you care to steal? Uh, hot dog ocean. Mike. Uh, Is it the Black Sea? Uh, incorrect, given that I'm looking for an ocean. Seas and oceans. <laughs> the only difference between them is fundamentally a conversation. I'm a Possibly, worker. but this is a recog this is a recognised geographical term, Mike. Helen, would you care to uh, venture an answer? I am desperately pressing the buzz thing. Oh, you! But oh, I you've dropped. I feel you've dropped out of the room from what I'm seeing. Oh my seeing. god! Yeah, but you've got you've got an open oh. you've got an open answer on this one. Uh, Not just called the. This is a, this is a really stupid answer. Because mm -hmm. none of the ones so far have been. Yeah, stupid. I was going to say. No, no stupid answers. Is it not just called the? Indian Ocean? Correct! Oh my lord! The Indian Ocean, the Indian, that's an ocean, not a sea! Oh, yeah. an idiot! <laughs> Correct, Helen! The Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Timor Sea, and Mozambique channels are all different parts oh, of the Indian Jesus. Ocean. 
Oh, this is painful. Well, it's just like... I did say that, like, <laughs> I was starting out relatively easy, yeah? God. <laughs> these are not, these these are are not like, trick questions. questions but... <clears throat> uh, okay. Final question in the round is for Helen to start with. Question nine. <clears throat> Thanks, chat. Thank you for my back. Okay. Uh, the 2010 FIFA Men's Football oh, World Cup was held in this country football. with matches played in Pretoria, Rustenburg, Port Elizabeth, and Durban, amongst others. Um. Um. Pretoria, Rustenburg. Was it. Is it. Oh, God. Is it New Zealand? Incorrect. Uh, Mike or Nico, would you Ooh. care to steal? Nico. <laughs> Nico, what's a, Nico, what's a football? So, don't get this confused by the Americans, because we've got many Americans who say the football is a thing that they kick. Oh, no, that's what we do. They hold their football. Ignore <laughs> me! <laughs> I'm confused. Would you um, care to I'm, provide I'm, an answer? Uh, I'm guessing Africa, but I don't know if I'm mixing up the years. Country. Uh, which country? <laughs> oh god, it's a country! It's the Boo <laughs> Oh god, there was just one country in Africa that did this! Oh god! <laughs> yes, it was not it was not a multi it was not a multi country. This time I know for, it. But why does Shakira say this time for Africa? She was lying. She was meant to say this time for this country. <laughs> oh, oh, Ghana? Incorrect. Oh, Mike, uh, would you care to venture an oh. answer? All right. Okay. I must have got the right continent. This is the big comeback. Um, so. Call it a comeback. I've been here for years. 2010 was home to a lot of things. It was home to... Me being 20, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. was home to um, a variety <laughs> of other things alongside that. Mm -hmm. Baking occurred. Sure, I fear you are stalling oh. for time. <laughs> but also, geography <laughs> happened. Yes. I know what this is. And the World Cup in 2010. <clears throat> Was hosted by Mary Berry. Was, yes, it was actually, <laughs> believe it or not. That was her big break in, and then she moved from that to baking. <laughs> so, uh, it was it was held in Ireland. Oh, Mike. Just you took all of that. Um, look, Mike, Helen, if you can provide me the right answer, I'll give you the point. Was it not South Africa? Correct! <laughs> you get the point, and we end round one. But just <laughs> thinking about Mary Berry hosting the football commentary, <clears throat> and she keeps saying, no soggy bottoms, please, oh. is quite the, um... Oh! Oh! That's a... Yeah, that's welcome! Welcome! Image. Welcome! <laughs> welcome. <laughs> at the end of the uh, at the end of round one, at the end of the introductory the question no round, bottoms thing was because everyone was tackling everyone. They all came back with like mud all up their shorts. Uh, Mary Berry just goes up at the end with a hose. And like, nope, <laughs> no. Helen, then he Helen, Helen is in bottoms. the lead with five points. Mike is in second place with two points, and alas, Nico has yet to score. But there is still plenty of time and plenty of questions. Still to come. I feel good about this. <laughs> so, we're moving on to round two. Oh, geez, Mike, so if you can sorry. bring up. I'm so sorry. Round two. You're doing great. Don't <laughs> You're apologize. doing good. You're, You're winning. Don't apologize. What? Don't apologize. This, You're this, doing this great. was to be expected. Yes. Don't you worry. <laughs> In round two, we are on home turf. These yes. are all questions about the United Kingdom. Uh, uh, it's a mixed bag, nine questions, again, one oh. point each, and if you don't get your designated question right, your opponent can buzz in to steal. Uh, right so, Mike, you have question number one in this round. Uh, Okie dokie. It's a long question, Anil. It is. So, uh, some of these are. 
The, this low-lying county in the east of England is bounded, bounded by Lincolnshire in the north, Suffolk to the east, and Essex to the south, including Silicon Fens and the cathedral city of Ely. Its county town is almost also a famous university city. <gasps> what county is this? I think I know this one, but the last time I thought I knew something, I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Is... Oh no, we've broken Nico. <laughs> is it is it Warwickshire? Alas, no. Oh, uh, no. Helen or Nico, would you care to buzz in uh, with an answer? Oh. Oh, Nico. No. I'm on. Right, th this probably way off. It's 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 not Warwickshire, is it? Incorrect. Uh, no. no. Not mate. Helen. <laughs> We're bigger okay, than that. Okay, I need to <laughs> think. Uh, I'm... Hmm. Um... I really should know this. Well, I mean, to be fair, Helen, you okay, speak... Okay, look at you to the north. <laughs> you speak for all of us. Ha. <laughs> 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 huh. Ahem. <clears throat> Yep. East of England, Lincolnshire to the north, Suffolk no, to the east. No, I'm sorry, Essex I'm sorry, I don't. No, you could do it, Helen, I believe I in you. Um, I believe in you. Don't say what me and Nico said. <laughs> Just think of rational places. <laughs> the county, yeah, town, yeah. Of, the county of, town of this ca is, is a famous university city. Think yeah. of places that actually <laughs> exist. <laughs> No. Oh no. Found is and in the dead. <laughs> oh, I, I heard a lot. I heard a laugh, but I I, 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 can't, I can't accept. I can't. Okay, I I will move on then. If you are unable, I'm to, sorry. Uh, I passed. I passed. I have to pass. Okay. The county I am looking for is Cambridgeshire. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. With its county oh. town at Cambridge. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. Oh, that's what you call it. A I've county town. You don't just call yes. it a capital city and a county. <clears throat> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> counties are, yeah, counties thought... are run from oh. county towns. Well done, mm -hmm. oddly specific. You did it. Good, good <clears throat> work. Uh, I felt like it was more in the centre. I thought that it was more in the centre of the country. No, it, it's one of yeah. It's weird because of the way because of the way like East Anglia distorts Eastern England. Um, it kind of like pushes things. It, it gives you a weird <laughs> sense of what the Midlands actually looks like. Yeah. So question God two. Damn it, East Anglia. <clears throat> this is for Nico to start with. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you. At know. one thousand. At 1,085 meters, what is the highest mountain in Wales and the busiest mountain in the UK, having been visited by over 590,000 walkers in 2019? This is in the news a lot because they're telling people you shouldn't go just to go to mountains during lockdown because then you're going to infect the sheep and whatnot. Uh... <laughs> well, let's think about this rationally. Wales, right? Mm -hmm. Fully enough, it's actually a lie because there's no whales in Wales. So that's the first lie. Okay. Is it? It's gonna be. Is see the thing about the it's UK is that this. they don't. Oh, Lo, Loey's <laughs> Welsh somewhere. In in uh, if you if you ask Lowry, her, she Lowry will say is something. Lowry Lowry is in Welsh, Welsh somewhere. Is <laughs> Welsh somewhere in there? She, yeah, she is. We chat, we're chatting about this. She, just, she told me one time she's Welsh, so you can you can quote me in that. <laughs> the thing about the UK is that they just make up the most random yeah. names for mountains and whatnot. Like in, in this is a really well-known mountain, Nico. <laughs> you, you, well, this is a thing, isn't it? Is it something called like George's leg? <laughs> Final answer: George's leg. No, it isn't. I'm afraid. Oh. I wish it were. 
Mike. Uh, is it Snowden? <laughs> Correct. Oh. <laughs> Mount Snowden. Oh, I know that word. You were really right about yeah it being in the news and people and um, people t uh, and officials telling people not to go up there because it uh, it was. Uh, I can see that we, I can see that we're in some, for some very interesting answers from you. Nico. Well, I was going to say what the Edinburgh Mountain is, but then I thought, well, no, maybe you've got that as one of the questions, so I'm not going to say it just yet. But just you wait. Possible. It was. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot that the Three Peaks Challenge conventionally revolves around Ben Nevis, <laughs> George's oh, leg. Shut. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, if we can have question three, please, Mike. This one is for Helen. No. Incredible. Uh, which island sits in the English Channel, separated from the mainland by the Solent, and about which is pop popularly, but erroneously, said that you can fit the entire world population on it? Uh, <clears throat> the English Channel? Yes, sir. Reset the buzzer. I'm very uh. upset about this because I was looking at islands around the UK um, to look at where I might want to do a staycation, and now I can't remember any of their names. Um... I don't know many islands that are in the English that because that, that's the one between England and Europe. That's the one separating us from France. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the one to the south. Yes. So, the only one I can think of is the island. Of white? Correct. It oh. is the Isle of Wight. Uh, oh. uh, popular okay. in media for yeah, lots of people <laughs> saying that oh, you can fit the entire world's population into the Isle of Wight. It's wrong, but it is it, it is something that is bandied about a lot. Uh, I have never ever um, heard anyone say that you can really? fit the entire world population Look, on the Isle of Wight. It's full like, of flipping sheep. Where are they going to fit? <laughs> there are no sheep on the... Well, there's I mean, there's a few sheep. There's but... loads of flipping sheep on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> no, it's a tourist destination primarily. And yeah. hence there are yeah. sheep to keep the grass down so that they can have the festivals there. <sighs> this sounds like a, uh, a Magnus Archives fear domain where <laughs> all the population have been buried into the Isle of Wight. Oh anyway, oh wow, that got deep. <laughs> like if you Sorry. like, if you look on it, like every couple of years, there are articles like in the Guardian debunking these kind of myths. Uh, um, I have okay. Started. Moving on. Question four is for Mike. Oh god, you <clears> back <throat> to me. Beg pardon. Me. Good lord. <clears throat> Beg pardon. Um, That's all right. <clears throat> Since 1889, this county has been administered from the county town of Preston. Its flag consists of a red rose on a yellow field, and other major towns in the county include Blackpool, Burnley, and Blackburn. What? <clears throat> Since 1889, this country has been administered... No, this county has been administered from the county town of Preston. This county has been administered from the county town of Preston. I didn't know things happened in Preston. <laughs> I, I just things thought... Things happened in Preston. I'm sure things it's get very lovely. On. <clears throat> yeah. I just, mm. I just assumed... Do you know where Preston is? So... No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, I know where this place is and I don't know the name <clears throat> of the actual county. The flag consists of a red rose on a yellow field, and the other major towns are in the area are Blackpool, Burnley, and Blackburn. All right, so the the <clears> red rose <throat> on the yellow field, right? That reminds mm -hmm. me from something that I learned in history decades ago, where any mm -hmm. flag that has a rose on it is part of the War of the Roses, or was part at one point to in the War of the Roses. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a very a very old established county but i can't remember where blackpool is on the country map so i am struggling um do i do you care to I, venture an answer yes i do i'm going to say wait hold on is preston near uh i'm gonna say oh shit i'm gonna say county durham 
Incorrect. Would anyone else care to buzz in? Oh, man. <coughs> Helen! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Helen, would you care to give me an answer? I don't know if this is correct, because again, it doesn't seem to be, like, in my mental image of where things Oh, it doesn't seem right back. Mm -hmm. Once again, Frozen. Helen exercising her supreme timing. <clears throat> oh no. That's <clears throat> it's gonna be okay. She's just she's just taking her time. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. the the art oh, of the back. dramatic pause. Back. There we hey. go. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hi, uh, your oh, no. camera your camera is still hello? frozen for me, but I can hear you. Hello, but... Helen. Oh no! Oh uh... You're here! Don't worry, you're here. you're here! It's okay. Okay. Oh Oh, I just put it in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately incorrect. Uh, Nico. Uh is Helen's it? answer was Yorkshire, which is incorrect. Oh, no, okay. it's not Yorkshire. <laughs> um, Lancashire. Correct, Nico. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, like, my as God. soon as it came up, Preston is like That's is animal, point. yeah. Yeah. Lancashire um, Red Rose, because you know, yes. and the Red Rose of Lancashire. Rose. Correct. Uh, and mm. Lancashire, yeah, Lancashire, mm. very historic county, traditionally would be, would have been, um, would have had its uh, administrative seat at Lancaster, uh, but in, in 1889, um, mm -hmm. political changes moved the boundaries so that technically Lancaster sits outside of the boundaries of modern lancashire it's like it's right in the cusp because yeah. I, yeah. I, so real? I live in lancaster yeah and if i squint i can just about see lancaster castle yeah i'm not going to dox myself further than that but i live in <laughs> lancaster um so that was thanks for form. the point i've, I've been to blackburn Pardon I've, you. I've been to blackburn <laughs> thanks chats Discord and Twitch are both saying they're so proud of me. I'm going to have lots of jelly beans to celebrate. I don't know what either of you are talking <laughs> Aww, about. As far as yeah. I'm Quist. aware, there's not very much north of Liverpool. Um, like, that's as far as I've been. Um, and, Question. And then I skipped a load and went to Edinburgh. So I There just is still plenty of country between Liverpool and Edinburgh, Mike. Uh, um, Question five is for Nico to start with. Uh... <laughs> All right. Okay. Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK, stands at the western end of which Scottish mountain range that occupies a large portion of the Highlands? Uh, oh, occupies. Oh no. I can't just say Highlands. Oh no. no. I want the name of the mountain range uh, that Ben Nevis is part of. Uh, Here's the thing. I didn't know Ben Nevis was in Scotland, so you learn that bit every day. Ah, okay. Right. <laughs> so... Oh, of course it is, because there's a pub in Glasgow called the Ben Nevis. Oh, this is all making sense now. <laughs> it doesn't just run. Uh... <laughs> gonna go up. Gonna go up to mountain range. I'm gonna go up to. <sighs> <laughs> this, this... I'm picturing it. I can hear you. You, you go outside. Piece. You go outside Glasgow, and it's just there's just there's nothing but farms. There's a few sheep. People go past the fist, so when they go, aye, that's that's the uh, official rules of Scotland there. And then they go patriotic. <laughs> and then they look up, and there's the glorious mountains. The, uh, <clears throat> the Scotstons, as they say. So is it the Scotton range? I'm afraid not, Nico. Oh, Would I anyone suppose. else care to buzz in? No. I've no clue. Oh. <laughs> my mountain face, thank you. Mike. Mike. Uh, I've Scottish mountain range. <clears throat> I think mm -hmm. that this is a trick question. I think that England doesn't actually have a mountain range. We just have Ben Nevis <laughs> and Scaffold Pike <laughs> and Snowdon and nowhere are they connected. They're individual entities under individual governments. <laughs> so what I'm saying is the mountain governments. And what I'm going to say is mm -hmm. there is no mountain range. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, 
That's certainly a bold approach to the answer, Mike. Um, it is also incorrect. Um, okay, then. Uh, Helen, do you potentially have an answer? <laughs> I genuinely have no idea. There's something in my head that there's a mountain range somewhere that's called, like, you know, the Ten Brothers or, like, the big lads or something. I, but it's not, I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> there possibly is. Uh, this mountain range is the Grampians. Uh, what? Oh, because of the, there's the old people near there. <laughs> I was going to say, hold on. Did it's, we just... it's where, no, yeah. It's, yeah. Where, where, so here's the thing in Scotland. When you retire, <laughs> you get shoved onto the mountain range of the Grampians. <laughs> and it's like it's you know it's so you can look down and be wistful and insightful yeah, to people because there's that huge retirement <laughs> complex isn't there up on yeah. the mountain <laughs> and i did look everyone else names their stuff awesome things you've got the andes sounds really good you've got the rockies very descriptive we have the, the Grampians, because we looked up and thought... The Grampians? The Pennines? We yeah, have, the, even the, the, the Pennines sounds better than that. Like yeah, plenty of mountain ranges. <laughs> why couldn't we um, have called it, like, the super awesome mountain range that's only in England, dot, dot, <clears throat> dot, unless it's elsewhere? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Question six is for Helen. <laughs> oh, all right. Yep. <laughs> The Small Isles are an archipelago of the oh, Inner Hebrides North of Western Scotland. Scotland, with the four main islands of which are Rum, Canna, Egg, and which other island with its dirty name? <clears throat> Anna, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> what? The, the chat are all just saying egg. Egg, yeah, they're all just saying egg now. Oh no, I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, you've you've done it, Anil. You've started uh, the egg can, train. Yes, can I offer you the island of egg in these trying Dirty times? Name. Yes, the islands of rum, canna, uh, egg, and... Mud? I don't know. <laughs> is that your answer? Mud is my final answer. <laughs> They're dirty I'm name. Afraid it, I'm afraid it's not mud. Uh, would anyone else care to? Nico. I know a singular island from Western Scotland. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go with Uist because it's the only one I know. I'm afraid not. Mike, would you care to give it up? Would you care to provide an answer? <laughs> the funny thing is, I only know one island. <laughs> 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 and that's the Isle of Arran. Oh, no, it's one. not the island of Arran. Oh. The four islands of the small isles are rum, canna, egg, and muck. Oh, like the uh, Pokemon! You were, so, you were so close, Helen, <laughs> with mud. No! No, Helen, you were so <laughs> close! Oh, God. Oh, um, okay. The batter are. I knew it was oh. something... I knew it was something like... That. Yeah, you were so oh. close with mud, uh, but yeah. Oh, is your batter all going? No, okay, cool. No, everything, no. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Uh, Rick. Okay. <laughs> um, Dead. Yeah. Okay, question seven is for Mike. Uh, oh, God. Oh, can you see it in the dark? No. I'm, I'm, everything <laughs> is in blackness, Nico. Just give um, me a minute. Hold on. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to go oh. ahead and think Mike's not going to get this one. Just just a hunch. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. I'm glad I'm, you I'm, believe I'm, in I'm, Helen I'm, and not in me. Well, <laughs> Mike, just, just which, which granite mountain range of southeastern Northern <laughs> Ireland? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Was that... Okay, no, Mike's back. Uh, which granite mountain range of southeastern Northern Ireland is home to Sleeve Donard and on a clear day can be seen from the Isle of Man? Oh, oh. Helen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this, is, this connection stuff, oh my lord. Um, which granite mountain... I mean, Nico hey, could be right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> I can actually hear you again now. You're back. Helen. <laughs> okay. Yay! Oh, yes! I have movement again. Um, which granite mountain <laughs> can you, range? Can you call a friend Alistair? I'm afraid not, Cassidy. Although, for next time, maybe. Um, I am now 
thinking about how I can revise these quizzes in future. Um, you said that last time. This <laughs> yeah. This Sylv Donard on a clear day can be seen from the Isle of Man. From Northern Ireland, which granite mountain range of mm -hmm. southeastern Northern Ireland? I didn't know all of these places had um, mountains. Um, well, me <laughs> The British Isles are, you know, me um, the United Kingdom is pretty, is, is pretty rocky and hilly. Yeah. It's... I mean, yeah, there are lots of hills, but like Shropshire is full of yeah. hills. We've got one dormant volcano, and that is like a centerpiece. And I thought that the <laughs> reason for that was because nowhere else has them. But no, it turns out that there's just friggin' lumps <laughs> in the earth all over the shop. I... Oh, God. I thought that our lump in the earth was better. But apparently, <laughs> no, it just pales in comparison. Okay. Look, it's better than it's better than the highest point of Norfolk, uh, which is a hundred meters above sea level. Uh. Yeah, that's true, actually. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I don't know. So what I'm going to okay. do is give you my logic, right? Mm-hmm. So, if it's an island, if it's an oh, island no. mountain range mm -hmm. that's in the south of Northern Ireland, I assume mm -hmm. it's probably quite close to the border. I assume Correct. it might even form part of the border between Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. I don't know. So what I'm going to say is that they called the large granite mountain range the Wall. Incorrect. Uh, Helen or Nico, would either of you care to provide... Uh, ouch. I have ankle. Um, <clears throat> would either of I... you care to buzz in? Uh, Nico. So there's a place called Galway Bay in Ireland, but that's mm -hmm. Ireland, that's not Northern Ireland, so we're not going to go there. <laughs> but if you think Belfast is in Northern Ireland and Belfast is kind of on the coast, mm -hmm. is it is it the the mountain ass, the Belton, the Beltons, is it the no, Belton range? It isn't. Oh, it isn't. well, I tried. Helen? No, I... I'm just gonna name the only other mountain range I know of, which is the Pennines. Like I don't know any <laughs> other mountains. I'm afraid not. Uh, That's the Yorkshire Pennines. Helen, no. Helen, you were the best the of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer is the mountains of Morn or the Morn Mountains. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. How could we forget? Oh. That's not a yeah. real place. It's. Oh. Uh... <laughs> but that, oh, you back away with... But that <laughs> is a good name for mm. a mountain range. <laughs> Question eight is that for Nico. Like... The Misty Mountains. I'm... Mountains yeah. of Morn. I'm gonna yeah, speak to the like, Scottish government. They're they're very they're very storied. Uh, Nico, uh, this county is bordered by Merseyside to the north, Derbyshire to the east, Staffordshire and Shropshire to the south, and Flintshire and Wrexham to the west. It is mostly rural and is a key producer of cheese, salt, chemicals, and silk, all with a knowing smile. So, Merseyside is south is south of uh, Liverpool. Derbyshire's is such a provincial direction to the west. Derbyshire, it, it's not so. This is, and it's definitely not Yorkshire because there's nothing east of Yorkshire. Um, it's not true. Is it? <laughs> not because you got West I mean, Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, and that pretty much takes <laughs> up the entirety of the east yeah. side of England. I mean, you've got Humber Warwickshire. And, and I'm afraid it's not Warwickshire. Ah, bollocks. Mike or Helen? I mean, Mike. I, was... I think I know this one, but I've said I hope that you do. twice now, <laughs> and I got it wrong both times. I mean, and this would be a perfect hat trick. I would be, I would be overjoyed if you have got this one right. Uh... Is it Birmingham? Let's see, Birmingham is not a county, Mike. Shire, the <laughs> thing, the, the big bit. No. no, it's... Oh, my God, I've just remembered. Oh, God. But I've already given my answer. Helen? Oh, God. No, I'm wrong. 
Um, <laughs> that produce cheese, but I don't actually like cheese. So I don't. I don't know. Nottinghamshire. Incorrect, no. Mike. You said you might have this it's, one. So yeah, I'm no, I no, I didn't know. No, I will if if you if you give if you give me. If you give me the answer you were thinking of and it's right, I'll give you the point. No, so. I, because I no because oh, my answer okay. was dumb. <laughs> Birminghamshire. Martin in chat has it correct. It's Cheshire. Yeah. With a knowing smile, the smile of the Cheshire cat. Uh, 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 yeah. Was there as a clue for you? Oh, um, not even Wensleydale. That's uh, awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to question nine, because I think we probably want to get this round over and done with. <laughs> no, no, it's good. Adam, it's, it's really for good. Helen. I'm just, I'm just stupid. Come on. Okay. Uh, what is the collective name for the Isle of Man, the Balawick of Jersey, and the Balawick of Guernsey, which are not technically part of the United Kingdom, but for which the UK is responsible? Uh, there is a term for these three... States, I so. think Helen said it, but but I don't think oh. the audio came through. The Channel Islands. Incorrect, sir. Uh, Nico or Mike? Uh, Nico. Is it the Outer Isles? Incorrect. Uh, uh... Oh God. Thanks, Cal. Hell. Mike, it's all down to you. Oh no. Because I was thinking the Channel Islands as well. What is the collective name for the? Yeah. Uh, no, because I mean includes, Jersey. No, because it includes the Isle of Man, and that's yeah. probably not the Channel Islands. <clears throat> so too American for this. If it includes, <laughs> you're not too Amer American for this, G. Don't worry. Big G says I'm too American for this. You well, can... we're we are on a UK ra a UK specific round, so. Oh, I so thought all of us are British. Wait, hold on. So if it includes the Isle of Man. Then is that the um Oh god I actually think I know this but I can't remember the name for it. Oh that's so frustrating. No, I'm gonna pass. I don't know. Okay. Uh oh Nico, do you, do you want to try British Isles? Yes. No. Oh, um, no, no. Uh, the Isle of Man, Balwick of Jersey, and the Balwick of Guernsey are all crown dependencies. Uh, oh, I was never going to get that in a million years. That was never. That's not on my uh, they are, on the radar. <laughs> they are part of. Uh, they are part of the British that crown. Is, that is bull heck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that use is, the word heck on stream. That's a bit too much, right Alan. There. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that brings us to the end of round two. Uh, the scores at the end of round two are, you are in third place. Great, thank you all for the front Nico three. on one point. Thanks, Russell. I'm on the boards. In second place, Thanks Mike on three points, and in first place, leading the pack, uh, Helen on five points. Uh, <laughs> Woo! God, um, Helen. God, Helen. <laughs> you're, you're the best of us. You need to push <laughs> forward. You need to beat this Helen for us all. Uh, okay. Um, let's move on to round Happy three. Which... Can I? I can't. Uh, let me just check. Uh, da, da, da. Can you so excuse me for like two sure. minutes? Sure, sure. I will uh, be right, right. back. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Is either doing the world's fastest toilet break or he's going to bring back like a shirt change or okay. who knows a mic there are f okay there are five more rounds some of them None are of picture this. rounds uh, oh, um, pictures okay all right yeah uh is it is, hoping... it is it going to mm -hmm. get harder from here i say difficulty <laughs> varies uh, um oh, there okay. are there are some top there are oh. there are going to be some tough questions sir. Uh, um, For instance, but... there's going to be flags. I'm so bad at flags. I there feel is... better what, about what flags. Would be, what would be a geography quiz without a flag round? Uh... No! Um... The worst <laughs> thing in the world! <laughs> uh, yes, chat, we will be ending on a flag round uh, as we did uh, as we did last time. Oh. Um, so yes, uh, we've, we've, we've got like five more rounds. I'm conscious of time, though. Um... 
Uh, we'll we'll just see how far we'll, we'll we'll see how far we go. We've got we've got an after an afternoon in the company of friends is is not a company wasted. Uh, not company wasted. Not afternoon yeah. wasted. Anil, say something pithy and then get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy to be hanging out with all my lovely friends. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's the uh, yeah. It's the cool kids. It's the uh, it's, we are it's, the cool. Yeah. It's just it's just a shame that the the lag is causing a little bit of the um, delay in trying to. Uh, in trying to hear things. But, yeah, I'm uh, so sorry about No, that. no, don't worry. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> we, can't, we cannot contain the Helen into one small I, yes. screen in the corner. Dis Discord, Discord, is, Discord <laughs> is not uh, software enough. For... <laughs> I, I, I'm quite happy that you whacked in the language the question. I'm just looking at my CPU just... <laughs> <laughs> just dang. Oh. Oh. Uh. But how are you? I'm just in... watching my CPO go from like very high, <laughs> high, very high. But how are you finding this chat? I hope uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope this is living up to the standards of uh, of last year's one. Uh, I think this is actually going not too badly. Uh, um, uh, I, I think uh, folks are doing pretty well for the questions I have set. Now that I am reevaluating certain things. Did you eat an atlas in those two minutes to try and ingest the knowledge of the world? Anil doesn't need to. Anil, Anil can literally <laughs> just... <laughs> Anil just has to be exposed to a source and then absorbs all yeah. knowledge oh, I that I source. Re I really wish that that was my superpower. You should um, see what happened when he met Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like, at that point, he he's actually a god. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I know Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. now knows the universe. <clears throat> oh no, no, do not test me on astrophysics. My my knowledge there is woeful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to round three, please, Mike. All uh, right, okay. Uh, as we are going to start getting physical. Uh, I wanna get physical. Physical. And that's all we can sing, otherwise we'll get DMCA'd. Oh. Yeah, our voices are too good. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, my stream was lagging a bit there. Haha. -ha. That's all right. It only just caught up with you returning to your chair. Oh. Um, but yes, <laughs> round uh, round three is on physical geography. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. I'm just waiting for things to catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right. We're, it says questions nine, yeah. <clears throat> one point each. Yeah, I'm not seeing that on my my monitor yet <laughs> that's all right mate the people um, on twitch will so, be seeing it right now so yeah don't worry. okay <clears throat> i will jump to my own version of the thing it's just it's helpful if i'm in time with the stream but you know you are. everything is going to be a little bit off okay so if we can move to question one this is for you mike uh, oh god why did i push for us to go into this <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh what what name is given to a line on a map that connects points of equal height to what is this? So, you know, when you're looking at like an ordnance survey map or something like that, you'll often see it uh, <gasps> covered in lines, uh, um, I which think are connecting I... lines of equal height. Uh, I think I know this. Uh, what is your answer, Mike? Are they called ley lines? No, they're not. I really uh... need to stop <laughs> saying that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, Nico, oh, no. are you, are you trying? Are you calling this? And it's actually just something called like ordinance line. Incorrect. Oh. Uh -huh. Helen, um, Helen, you have Helen? to do this. You, do you have an answer? I I believe in you. I, I do. Believe you do believe in fairies. Um, do, I do believe in fairies. I do believe in fairies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Actually, if you say it with a Lancashire accent, look, that's the a totally last time I looked at this, I was. Like... <laughs> I don't. I cannot. I cannot even give you a funny guess. That's for this. fine. Um, uh, I don't oh, know. Sure. Uh, the answer are contour lines. Oh, of course they are. 
Oh, oh my yeah. god, that's why when you put it yeah. on your face, oh, it adds the god. lines! Oh my uh, god! Oh, no! I uh, should have watched more no. from Paul! What? <laughs> god <laughs> damn it! I knew! I knew! I knew! I, I know what one of those is! Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, it's alright. It's I'm glad right. at least that camera is frozen. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, Mike, if you could move on to question two, please. This yeah. will be for Nico. Go on. I'm Raviola. I'm mm. Viola. Viola. Little Viola. Little Viola. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, question two. Indeed. What is the field of physical geography that concerns water moving over the land surface, sir? Uh, it's not going to be oceanography because that's oceans. And this is yeah, this is the counterpart to oceanography, pretty much. Uh, it's there's no such thing as landography because that sounds a bit too <laughs> hectic. That no, it's water. What field is related to water moving over land or moving on land? Shoreography. Incorrect. <sighs> Mike or Helen, do you have an answer? Mike. Riverography. No. <laughs> like Helen. How are we just putting Griffey into everything? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, if oceanography is a thing, <laughs> rivers move well, across yeah, the I'm, land. Yeah. I'm so, with you, you know, so riverography, if it isn't a thing, <laughs> scientists. Rigor Riverography 2020. One, two. What year are we in? Shut up. Helen, have you got an answer? <laughs> time, has, time has no meaning. We, we, we're in a year. I That's all that have... we can say. <laughs> I do not have an answer for this. Okay. I was trying to run through various Latin and Greek suffixes and prefixes. None of them were right. I can't, uh, I can't even guess. It's, it's a shame. Um, the answer is hydrology. Yeah. It is literally oh, the science of water. Oh, oh. No. I was thinking so much deeper than that. Oh, this is not. This is not fair. No, because if, if you go I'm deeper, trying. that's oceanography. Yeah, you don't exactly. Want that. <laughs> <laughs> I just say I'm. I like. I'm trying to give like relative. I mean, answers are relatively. That's literally deep. knowledge of water. That's yeah, literally. But, I mean, and it's I'm a field upset. of physical I'm geography. Upset, <laughs> it's aided by the fact that the the mic it just keeps cutting out whenever mm -hmm. Helen's too loud. I'm gonna sorry. I'm just gonna refresh my copy of the stream so that all right. I'm not lagging very much. All right. <clears throat> okay. And you, you guys uh, enjoy uh, playing along at home, by the way. If you are, then let us know in the chat because we are trying to keep up with it. <laughs> uh. Martin I can't believe Martin I should have just gone with my gut. Uh, question three. This one is for Helen. Uh, Don't worry, Helen. You you, you will nail uh, this. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, so, question three is uh, Vatna Yerkel in Iceland, Alec in Switzerland, Perito Moreno in Argentina, and the wrong book in the Himalayas are examples of what feature? Volcano? Incorrect. Uh, Mike or Nico? Nico! <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I, I Water you. Waterfall? Incorrect. Mike. Uh, Naturally occurring triangles. <laughs> Can't yeah. give that one to you, I'm afraid. Oh, no. They... <laughs> Uh, they are all glaciers. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, so, uh... Anil, that was beautiful pronunciations, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it was. was. Oh. It was stunning. Yeah. Thank you. I have looked these up, so. <laughs> I have no idea there'd be a glacier in Argentina. Yeah. I always um, thought Argentina was. was... Well, I mean, because the Andes run down between Chile and Argentina. Um, uh, so there are mountainous areas of both of those countries. So, 
I had uh, nice moving on no to no idea that there was any uh, any like glaciers in the Himalayas. To be honest with you, I that's this is There's all cool. A lot of snow and ice. <laughs> Is it? Um, Damn. Yep. No way. Um, there's a there's, there's a very famous uh, there is a very famous and um, uh, monastery at the end of the Rongbuk um, glacier, uh, where um, uh, for high level altitude training. Um, wow. And, uh, and what, a monastery? Wait, a monastery for high altitude training. <laughs> Well, I mean, what, high, they, like high like altitude the contemplation. Of Enjoy Sky you know, Blue. Is this a madness I mean, thing again? No, no. <laughs> you know the um, there's that scene at the beginning of is it Batman Begins or something like that? Yeah, uh, where they were like, "Do you um, want to be a monk?" And then Batman was yeah, like, "Yeah." But and they were like, "Well, that you better go to this monastery, which is really like high that up. monastery. Like that monastery is modeled. Like the concept of that monastery is modeled on the uh, on the Wrong Book Temple. Oh, isn't <laughs> one of the Far Cries as well? I feel like uh, at I least the Himalayas is. One about Far Cry that. 4 was set in Tibet. And then well, you go off, there's like a the DLC it, that it, you go off to... It was set in a fictional country somewhere around Nepal. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It was it was heavily... Because the I actually went to an art exhibition about this in France. And the designers went actually to, like Anil said, they went to Nepal and they went to some very, they went to Tibet and they went to like a load of very remote places in and around those areas. They actually took a load of sketch art um, where they got their design inspirations from, took all that back and then designed the game based on the sketches from actually being on location. And they made this whole new country based on the sketch art. So I think it's really awesome, but I'm sorry, I'm geeking That's out That's for no, it's really uh, cool. Moving on to question four. This one is for Mike, starting off with. Uh... <clears> okay. <throat> Uh, question four. Um, how many U.S. states does the Mississippi River flow through on its way to the Gulf of Mexico? Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> um, wait. Is... No. I was going to say, is this a trick question, but it goes all the way <laughs> to Mexico. So, and, and no, I remember it, it, it... because April showed me a map of the U.S. Yeah. And it's very <laughs> confusing. Right, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Look, somewhere here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I actually, I have an idea. It's probably going to be something like seven. Okay. Is that my final answer? Because it go because Mississippi is in that bit with like all the other bits and they're all sort of tightly compacted <laughs> in together. <laughs> it's in that bit with all the other bits. Yeah, yeah. It's in, you know the bit though, right? It's yeah. in that bit that they call, what do they call that? The... Um, oh, there's an America. What? America. Yeah, yeah, it's in it's in America. Yeah, but there's a but there's a name for that collection of states, and I can't remember what it is. So, uh, do you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say seven. Incorrect. Oh, Would anyone man. else care? To with the answer. Nico. Uh, I'm gonna say eleven. Incorrect. Uh, oh, I was so good. I got it right. Helen. Helen. 1996. <laughs> yeah, 1996 is always the correct answer. <laughs> I'm also going to continue the trend of guessing random numbers from <laughs> 1 to 50. Um, hey now! I, my, I was in some Mountain. education. I'm... I wasn't totally random. I did try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say... Scene. Female Sorry, you're going to say. I didn't hear your number. Sixteen. There. Incorrect. I'm actually going to take. I'm actually going to take Bryn's uh, suggestion from the chat and say the. Uh, I'm going to allow for plus or minus one uh, on this, and the point goes to Nico. You were the closest. It's ten. No Thank way. You. Okay. Well done, Meeks. You did it. Thank you. You got a <laughs> point. Two, two points. Uh, yes. It flows from headwaters in Minnesota, flowing through Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana before exiting into the Gulf of Mexico. Whoa. I'm going to just give jelly beans to my entire comfort crew. <laughs> <laughs> I've genuinely... Uh, question... Yeah. Uh, question five is for Nico. Uh... Yeah. 
Uh, situated on Siwa Lake in South Korea, this barrage is world is the world. Oh, there should be a dirt in there. Uh, this barrage is the world's largest power plant for what type of energy? And the picture on screen is a picture of this power it's, plant. It's uh, it's it's the thing. It's the thing. Oh, what do they call that? It's I'm the, just it's... looking for the type of energy that this power oh. plant produces. So. Also, Anil, between you and me, I know that you took out the the because this was an eco question, so you don't have to explain <laughs> it, mate. It's fine. What yeah. type of energy? Is world's it largest is... power plant Hi... what? <laughs> Hydroelectric? Hydraulic? Hydraulic? Incorrect. Sir. Oh. Love energy. Uh, would... <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh Mike. Uh... Oh wait, is Helen actually Helen, are you still here? We may have lost Helen. I don't want to jump in just in case just in case Helen knows this. Yeah, Helen's known in the call. Who? Helen is in the call. Helen... I she? I'm still I'm still getting a frozen camera. Yeah, I've, oh, got, yeah, she I've got frozen, Helen. She's very pensive yeah. right now. Yeah, very pensive. Mm. I um, mean, however, Mike, you did buff. You did buff in. You did buff in. I did buff um, in. Okay. Yeah. I think it's geothermal. That's incorrect. The type of energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's where you take. It's where you basically put dirt into a giant machine and it makes power. Huh. Uh, Helen, do you have an answer? She's she's seriously deliberating. <laughs> you just need to give her some space. Uh, floors poop. Geothermal energy is the is energy derived from hot rock. So it's basically you pump water down into the earth. Uh, um, it heats up as the pipes go through, you know, hot rock. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Comes back up to steam and it drives the turbine that way. Yeah. Oh, Helen's saying in the in the chat, uh -huh. wave energy, as in the movement of the waves. I will give you that. It is the world's oh. largest tidal energy plant. Uh, oh. was, tidal was the word I was trying to think oh, of, but I couldn't no. Helen, you get a point. <laughs> Yay, Helen's oh. back. Because um, it's the technically this difference. Yeah, this differs. This differs from hydroelectric <laughs> in the back. sense that um, <laughs> hydroelectric power basically derives from falling water over the turbines. Tidal energy yeah. is it. It goes over the turbines. In a different way, yeah. Um, yes, okay. congratulations, Helen. Uh, this is question six uh, for you to start with. Uh, oh, Lord. Um, uh, the rock cycle in geology describes the transformation of rocks through three main types, igneous, metamorphic, and what other type of rock? Uh, oh, no. I've just realized when I changed my volume, everyone oh, can see yeah. my music. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm stuck now. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't know how far behind are my questioning is lagging behind the stream or... No, no, uh... you're, you're doing great, mate. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Helen's once again... In a, it, Helen goes to this place <laughs> when she's thinking of answers to questions, and it's incredibly difficult to access if you're not Helen. It, think of a mind palace, right? But this is more like a mind plane. Mm. And within there, it's just miles of knowledge. <laughs> but the trouble is, it's quite difficult to access, so she's currently getting on the monorail. She explained this to me. She's getting on the monorail to be able to get from one <laughs> section of knowledge to another section of knowledge. And sometimes there's congestion on the line. The ticketing system is also a little bit complicated as well. So that adds to time. Um, but eventually she will get there. Uh, and then she will come back hard, fighting with right answers. Uh, if you can hear me, Helen, please feel free to put an answer in the uh, in the Discord chat. Uh, the rock cycle in geology describes the transformation of rock through three main types: igneous, metamorphic, and what other one? Helen's back. Helen put sedimentary into the chat, which is correct. Yeah. Uh, 
Oopsie. I mean, every time Helen does freeze up, she does come back with the right answer. So it does work. Because of exactly the reason I told you about Nico, mm. duh. Obviously. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Three types of rock described in the rock cycle. Uh, moving oh, on. Uh, this is for seven. Question seven is for Mike. Uh, uh, Mauna Loa in Hawaii, Krakatoa oh, okay. in Indonesia, and uh, Cotopaxi in Ecuador are famous examples of what? Uh, now, I don't know, but what I can tell you is that yesterday, in order to prepare for this, I was looking at Google Maps, and mm -hmm. I had myself a cup of tea, and I was sat Ooh. here pensively debating about uh, various things, and then I noticed in the middle of the sea, in the middle of the ocean, there was just this little word, and it just said hi. And I thought uh -oh. I'd been working too long, and that the ocean was saying <laughs> hello to me. But no, as I zoomed in, I realized that that is where Hawaii is. And I didn't actually <laughs> realize that Hawaii was that far out into yeah. the ocean. It re yeah, it really is. Uh... <clears throat> so that's, that's a thing. Um... Okay, Mauna Loa in Hawaii, Krakatoa in Indonesia. Uh, I'm going to say volcanoes. Correct. Uh, they are all famous volcanoes. Uh, what? What? Yeah, Krakatoa. You got the answer right, Mike. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Remember this sensation? Yeah. Oh my god. It's been so long, I've forgotten what this... What am I supposed to feel now? <laughs> Mike. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. So yes, they are all they are all well known volcanoes. Uh, uh, question eight is for Nico. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that Mike is moving through the. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I, the am, I am. I am. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, what term is given to a region comprising of a number of cities and developments that have merged to effectively form one continuous urban or industrial zone? No. And you're looking for something more oh than God. just an urban zone or industrial zone. Yeah. So what do you call like an a continuous urban zone? Uh, that is basically, you know, various city cities and such have just like agglomerated. Uh, an urban complex. Incorrect. Uh, mm. ooh, ooh, ooh. Mike. Uh, a metropolis. Not quite right. Oh, but that would have been good. Oh, Helen. Oh, right. Okay. I heard the faintest whisper. Yes. Yeah. I heard something. Helen is there. Oh. Hold on. I'm picking. Okay. No, I'm picking her okay. up. She's coming in. She says, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen, if you're there. Uh, speak to I was us. just gonna say I don't know. Okay. I know that. <laughs> we can hear. Oh, you. I know that, oh, that was is one of them. Sorry, that was I... preemptive. Sorry. Can't remember what we called it. Okay. Uh, the term for a continuous urban or industrial zone is a conurbation. Uh, oh, I was going to say metropolitan because that was slightly different. Yeah, to technically one. Maybe <laughs> one step down from metropolis. Well, yeah. Uh, the, uh. The, the the boundaries are a bit the boundaries are a bit hazy here. Like I'm my population um my population geography is not super great but you know um yeah pretty good though when mm. uh yeah when basically urban sprawl has got to the point that it, it you know <laughs> you start to merge into like the next city or the next town <laughs> along uh, I could, I and could, then... really, it's really weird. I could just very faintly hear Helen giggling in the background, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no, it's like not... sometimes in horror movies where you have like that random sound that just starts <laughs> playing in the background, and you don't notice it's there until you do, and then you're like, "What? The, how long has that been happening for?" <laughs> it's always been calliope music, Tim. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> no. <laughs> and the final question in the round that goes to Helen to start with. Uh, um, divided between Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, what is the world's largest tropical lake? Oh, oh bugger. Um... <laughs> Classic lake, that. Classic lake. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
That's another classic <laughs> as well. That one's near me. <clears throat> Lake Arbugger is over near Neek, so you're in the wrong country, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lake somewhere in like Australia that, that translated out as that. Quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> and Lake Ah oh, is over in Shropshire. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a pass it's a pass i have okay. no idea fair enough uh nico or mike would either of you care to buzz it now mike uh... is it <laughs> i think i'm wrong now <laughs> Is it the Black Sea? Because that's a lake. Incorrect. Sir. Oh, Black no. Sea's a lake? Oh, yeah, because it's... Oh. <laughs> so here's the Me. thing. I only really know of a few lakes. You've got uh, Michigan Lake, which, of course, is in America, so it's nowhere near Tanzania, Kenya, or Uganda. Nope, You've got is. the Lake District, yeah. which is lots of lakes, and that's nowhere near Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. Oh, no. I think, then... I think I've realised... Oh, no. <laughs> Is it, is it Lake Soho? Incorrect. Mike, if you have a, if you have is an it, answer. If... Is it Lake Victoria? Correct. Oh, I will give you that. Oh my God. I, I, after I said it, I was like, no, no, it's the other one. <laughs> oh <my laughs> it is always the other one. Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, the, the, the fundamental rule of quizzing. Uh, it's uh, always but yeah, the other Lake one. Lake Victoria, um, the, lar the world's largest tropical lake. Um, <sighs> And yes, uh, split between Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Which brings us to the end of round three. Uh, and the scores at the end are Helen is in the lead with seven points. Mike is in second place on five. And Nico is in third on two. Uh, can he catch up? There is still all to play for. Uh, as we go into <laughs> round four, uh, which is a capital idea. I hated this round. <laughs> Uh, it is shorter Lovely. than last time, Mike. No, no, it's not uh, about there the only... length of it. It's just I feel like I should know the answers to all of this bit because this is the only bit of geography. Yeah. Like, I used to have this guy in my old work. His name was Frank, right? And Frank could categorically name every single U.S. state, every capital of every U.S. state, and the governor of that capital. Oh, wow. I would never be able to get governor. I used to know all 50 states and their capitals at one point when I was at school, but, but he that was could, for a bit. Uh. But he <laughs> then said, okay, if you don't believe me, challenge me. Let, make mm -hmm. me learn something. And we did European capitals. And he did it again. He came back in like three days and knew every country that was in Europe, every capital of every country, and the leader of each okay. capital. Okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do. I wouldn't be able to do the leaders. Uh, like European countries and their capitals, I can do. Uh, oh my lord! Um, I yeah. <clears throat> so, I have decided that because these are a little bit on the uh, a little bit on the more testing side. Uh, uh, these these are going to be worth three points each. Uh, Ooh, wow! Uh, so you know, plenty of chances to make up lost ground. Uh, Mike, this first question is for you. Oh God, yeah. Uh, with a population of around two million, this city at the mouth of the, the river Liffey was at the forefront of the Celtic time. Tiger that economic boom. The Book of Kells is housed in the old library of the city's Trinity College. Uh, Just before I answer, um, why are you mads though? says uh thanks very much for the 300 bits the best part of waking up is rq quiz time that doesn't rhyme thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much why you mads though appreciate you um uh, and as a reminder for chat all of these are the capital cities of their country yeah uh... okay so with a population of around two million this city at the mouth of the river liffey liffey yes nice uh, was at the forefront of the Celtic Tiger economic boom. The Book of Kells is housed in the old life. Well, see, I might be, I might be stupid, but if it's Celtic, surely that would imply that it was in Scotland. But the capital of Scotland is Edinburgh, and I don't know if there, I don't know any of the names of any of the rivers there is it is it edinburgh incorrect uh, 
Helen or Nico, would you care to guess it? And... Helen. It's Dublin. Correct. Uh, we are in Dublin, the capital of Ireland. Uh, with it, Mike, yeah, Mike, Trinity Mike, College. I'm so sorry. Mike, I'm so... I, oh, there was a 50-50 shot there, Mike. You, you did good, but... Oh. <laughs> yes, I alas. understand why you thought that, but I'm so yeah. sorry. Um. <laughs> oh, God. oh, yeah, I've noticed that Oh yeah, camera placement might affect um, some of the answers showing up on the screen. Oh, well, never mind. We live and learn. Um, yes, moving on to question two, which will be for Nico, please. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think I may know this, but it's, I think maybe... This metropolis in East Asia is home to 14 Fortune 500 company headquarters, including Samsung, and has a technology hub in the Gangnam district. It hosted the Summer Olympic Games in 1988. Is it Singapore? Incorrect. Uh, Helen or Mike, would you dare to venture a guess? Uh, Mike? Uh, is it Korea? Is it the capital of South Korea, which is, um, uh, oh my god, what's the capital of South Korea? It's Ningbo? No, I can't remember. I can't remember. Incorrect. It is not Ningbo. Helen. I'm, I feel like it must be Korea as well, but I don't know what the capital city is at all. Um, oh. Oh, of course! I'm so sorry. Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to offer. I'm not going to offer this up again oh, because oh. of. Oh. Is it Seoul? Yeah. Is it Seoul? Yeah. Yes, it Seoul, is. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The capital yeah. of is Seoul. Congratulations, Helen. No. Oh God! All of the chat suddenly started going. Yeah. Oh, this is hurting my soul. I was like. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't even catch on to that at all. I was just like, "Oh, you hurt them." Didn't think of the pun. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on to question three. This is for Helen uh, to start with. Oops. Okay. Uh, founded in Ontario in 1826, this city's current name derives from the Algonquin verb to trade. It is home to an NHL team, uh, a National Hockey League team called the Senators, and approximately 37% of its population are bilingual English-French. Uh, which capital city is this? Uh... <gasps> is it Toronto? Incorrect. Uh, Nico or Mike? Oh, it's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> it is always the other one. Mike, you have an answer. <laughs> oh, no. Now you've said it's the other one and I'm doubting myself. Is it Vancouver? Incorrect. Uh, no. Nico, do you have an answer? I should know this because I do podcasts in Canada. Uh... You will guess the right country. <laughs> Yeah. Quebec? Incorrect. It is not Quebec. Uh, the capital Quebec's of there. Canada is Ottawa. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Ottawa Senators playing in uh, uh, the National Hockey League. Oh, so. man. <laughs> All of our Canadian fans oh. are just like. Yeah, Meg, Meg, Meg was very much there saying, I'm losing my mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, everyone, so, so when we funny. mention their country, just starts screaming at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quebec uh, is, yeah, Quebec is in Canada. I'm not that Yes, bad. it is. <laughs> and Quebec, Quebec City is a um, province. Uh, Nico, yeah. well, remember Quebec when... City you, is a city in Canada. Yeah. Just remember when you say, I knew that Quebec was in <clears> Canada. <throat> just remember that this is also an audience that when I tweeted that I was learning how to make pasta, they thought I meant... <laughs> Boiling pre-made <laughs> pasta, <laughs> and that, that was my level of cooking. So, <laughs> um, oh, moving on, question four. This one is for Mike to start with. Oh uh, God! <laughs> founded in the 16th century, with a name meaning fair winds, this is one of the most visited cities in South America. Known for its eclectic mix of European architecture and immense cultural output, including the world-renowned Teatro Colon uh, Opera House. Uh, 
Okay. So if it was founded in the 16th century, it's old. Mm -hmm. That's a start. It's probably <laughs> modern now. With a name meaning fair winds. Okay. One of the most visited cities in South America. So it can't be Brazil. It could be Argentina. It's eclectic mix of European architecture. That feels like Argentina to me. But I know that Argentina is famous for cows. I don't know if it's necessarily famous for opera houses. But what is the capital of Argentina? Um... I don't know. I, ge I genuinely don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the... Um... <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. I Bake think off, says opera and cattle can coexist in the same country, yeah, Mike. <laughs> I'm fairly, I'm fairly confident that I've got the, I'm fairly confident that I've got the, um, the country right, but I just cannot remember the name of it. Fair winds. What language do they speak in in Argentina? Is it Spanish? Probably. It is Spanish. Sorry. It is Spanish. For those I was going to say, Argentina. yeah, because, yeah, okay. It's a Spanish. So, fair winds in Spanish, I, I couldn't even guess because my, my Spanish is so bad, which is bad because I used to do a load of work with Sony PlayStation in Spain. Brag. Humble brag. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that from the person who said, oh yeah, I've worked on podcasts in Canada. Brag. Uh, I've worked <laughs> on the top three podcasts in Canada. <laughs> My, the podcast I've worked in has been in a huge billboard. So yeah, it's a bit of a brag. <laughs> uh, uh, Buenos Aires. Correct. Oh the my god, I did it! Argentina yes! is Buenos Aires. Oh my god, which is we are looking at here. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> Proud of it. Full three points goes to Mike. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was a beautiful moment. Oh, fuck. Also, like, can we ask chat to stop giving us clues? Because I yeah, got it from the clues I don't the look chat at chat oh, I, when yeah. I'm guessing. Chat, I don't yeah, look at please, chat at all. Uh, please avoid giving clues to, or answers in, in the chat because our, our competitors are looking there. Um, <laughs> uh, after the question has been answered, <laughs> then so fair enough. But yes. So, <laughs> um... Moving on, question five is for Nico. Uh, God damn. <clears throat> huh. A planned city within its capital territory built in 1913 as a compromise in the dispute of what the capital should be. It is home to the largest deep space communications array in the Southern Hemisphere, as well as more than 30 wineries. Uh, what city are we in? So it can't be. Is, is not going to be... When you said disputed, my mind immediately went to Jerusalem. I don't think it's going to be Jerusalem. Oops. I've opened the window. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Some of Did India... India had a trouble trying to figure out where to put their capital city. Bangladesh? No. Yes. I don't no. Think that's Is that the capital happens. city? No. Yeah. Bangladesh is the capital city of India, is it not? No. Is that your final answer? Mm. Oh. Mm. What else would have had disputes in 1913? That's before World War One. A planned city within its capital territory built in 1913 as a compromise in the dispute of where the capital should be. It is home to the largest deep space communications array in the Southern Hemisphere, as well as more than 30 wineries. So... <laughs> oh, Non-binary star system says they've taken this exact picture. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, man. The picture, yeah, the, the picture. Oh, there's a picture. Yeah. yeah, there's a picture, yeah. That doesn't help me. <laughs> no, it just told me that it's not India. 
<laughs> Malta? Malta and Greece? Final answer? Incorrect. Mm. Would anyone else care to buzz in? It's funny because I I know that the largest deep space communications array was the deep space communications array that was used in the in the film uh, Goldeneye. That's what I was trying to think as well, but I can't think. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, but I can't remember where that is because I thought that that was in. Helen, maybe you can help me here. I thought that <laughs> that was in Brazil, but it's but it but that would mean it was in Brasilia, and that is not a picture of Brasilia. And and so that's what's really <laughs> thrown me. <laughs> what's throwing me is that it's southern hemisphere, but also mm -hmm. wine. Um, because the only place like Australia does wines, and I think it's in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, I mean Australia yeah. is like is like home home county southern hemisphere, right? <laughs> yeah, as a test to figuring out time zones of people in Australia, it's very much in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Helen, would one of you care to buzz in with an answer? All right, do you know what? I'll go for it. Mike, uh, there. Yeah, go for it, Mike. I, <laughs> I think, I think it is Nepal. And the capital I like that guess. is Oh no, I've I've really backed <laughs> myself into a corner now. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to Helen. Uh... I'm gonna go with like my feelings about Australia and say like Canberra. Correct! This is Canberra, the capital of Australia. Oh, oh god. It what? Is. <laughs> what? Uh... Helen, yes. well done. That Canberra was within the Australian Capital Territory. It was built in 1913 as a compromise uh, because it was disputed as to whether or not Sydney oh, yeah. or Melbourne oh, God, should be in the Capital. That. So That's they compromised and built an entirely oh, new city. Of course. Um, and yeah. it is one of, uh, one of NASA's three um, uh, uh, deep space communications array that has helped with tracking Voyager 1. Um, as it uh, has travelled out of the solar system. But also wine, because, you know, this is Australia. This, this, <laughs> not not to give too much personal information away, but I, my, my girlfriend has told me of countless times about getting the wrong capital city for Australia, and she's told me this countless times. I should have known this one. Nico, I feel you, because I've been playing I've been playing so much Minecraft with Lucky Bones recently, and Lucky is an Australian streamer, and we have talked about this, and they have in fact despaired multiple times yeah. at my yeah. absolute lack of knowledge as to what Australia <laughs> consists of. I think you and, and me yeah. are never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was kind of thrown in for you, Nico. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and oh, I appreciate uh, it. The final question in this round uh, is starting off with you, Helen. Uh -huh. This city climbs from the northern okay. coast to the ancient Kasbah. Once a Berber port, it was under Ottoman rule in the 16th century, then French control from 1830 before liberation in 1962. It is home to both the Kachar Mosque and the Notre Dame d'Afrique Cathedral. Uh, just to say, Helen, this is the only round in this entire thing where you can just shout if you don't like it. <laughs> oh, come on. Is it Minor points? No? No one? Okay, what? fine. <laughs> no! 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 I take, take it back! I took it back. I I, we didn't hear I, you I anyway. Have, I have, no, I didn't I hear you at all, Helen. I haven't had an answer for... Uh, what city are we in? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, then under Ottoman rule, then French rule, and finally liberated in 1962. I think child. I know I think I know the country. I'm literally massaging my brain to try and get the city. Um I I think I think I I even I read a book recently with this in it, I think. Oh god. 
I'm gonna have to pass. I cannot. I cannot remember it at all. I know where it is. Well, tell us where it is then. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, <laughs> I, I, I kind of think I know the rough area. Uh, okay, if Helen is, uh, I couldn't tell I you. I feel saying. like it must Nah, I can't. I pass. I okay, pass. if I Helen is passing, then Mike or Nico, would you care to guess? Uh, uh, well, in with a guess. Uh... I think the floor's yours, mate. I don't know a single other than other than Cape Town and South Africa. I don't know a single city in Africa. So it seems like it's a liberation. <laughs> Climbs, so, so once a Berber port, it was under Ottoman. Where does it say it's in Africa? Not Notre, Notre Dame de Afrique, but I think this is around about the time where Africa is getting annoyed by being run by France and Britain. So they want to know full on, we're striking against this, we're getting our independence back from you. It's around about that getting time. Getting annoyed. <laughs> There was, there was a fire yes. fight, isn't it? it was, there was an episode of it in uh, season one of The Crown. Like a huge <laughs> thing about it, and the Queen had to go over and try and like ease tensions, but they, they took it over anyway. As in, they got their independence back. You mean violently rebelled with yeah. the wars? Yeah, and saying it nicely. I don't think there's really any, any nice way this. <laughs> God um... bless you, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> But it's that it's that area because it was on the river, and I remember I remember there's a thing. Mike, uh, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> give give me a guess. Uh. <laughs> I I think Marrakesh in Turkey because that was that would that would put it under <laughs> Ottoman rule. That would put it under Ottoman That's rule. Fair. It would. I also, there was also, I think, something to do with the French that happened over there as well. In, in, incorrect, Mike. And Marrakesh is not in Turkey. Marrakesh Mar is, is, oh. is, is... Oh, yeah, Marrakesh is Morocco. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm with you, Mike. I would have made the same mistake. Do you have an answer? No. I know it's, it's okay. in Northern Africa, but apart from that, no. Yeah, it is in Northern Africa. Is it Istanbul? No, it isn't. Uh, That's... The answer is Algiers. No. We are in Algeria. No. God oh, damn okay. It. God damn it. Uh, yes, uh, famous, uh, a famous port on the Mediterranean, <laughs> uh, rising to its ancient Kasbah, where the days ruled from. Uh, that brings us to the end of the Capital Cities round. Uh, oh, um, and Mike, yeah. I'm going to suggest that we might want to take a bit of a break here, because I need to uh, refresh my drinks. And I suspect the chat may want to as well. Uh, yeah, well, you're the quiz master, dude. So um, if, uh, if you guys are happy to take a quick break here, I think that's a really good idea. Um, if you guys are watching along at, uh, at home and you're enjoying this, then let us know in the chat because we do love hearing from you. Um, if, you uh, if you're keeping score of how many points you've scored so far, let us know in the chat and we'll see whether or not you're beating us or beating the quiz master. <laughs> you're beating uh, me, definitely. Before we, uh, before we go to our break, I'll just give you a quick update on the scores. Uh, uh, in third place, alas, is Nico on two points. Uh, mm -hmm. In second place, on eight points, is Mike. Uh, and still in the lead on 13 points is Helen. Enjoy, guys. Woo! He'll catch up on the vlog. I did not expect this at all. <laughs> no, I, I kind of suspected it. <laughs> I was, I'm going to be honest. We, when we had all of those conversations in the beginning, when we were like, oh, so should we do a geography quiz? And you were like, I'm really bad. I was like, you clearly did not watch the first time we did this geography <laughs> quiz. I didn't. I didn't know. And I think now you're you're experiencing it. <laughs> uh, in which case, uh, let us take uh, a break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Chat. Um, see you all okay. on the other side. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. All right, everyone. Hello. Hello. How Howdy. Are you? Kids, are we back? We are back. We are back. We hey, are, folks. We are back. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the stream to catch up so that I can see exactly what you have done. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, Mikey picked the best picture. So, Aww. so for background chat, um, me and Helen were having a little chat uh, behind the behind the curtain, and um. 
because uh, Helen's experiencing a load of lag issues, we suge I suggested that we change Helen into an image rather than a video so that Helen can actually join in um, to try and take some of the internet load off. And I said, what dog would you like to be? <laughs> and without hesitation, without hesitation, <laughs> Helen was just like this. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, yeah. this is Helen. Hello. <laughs> it's me. I'm a dog now. Oh, <laughs> a heckin' woofer. Oh boy. The best doggo? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent heckin' woofer. Big it's a boar's boy with a really big snoot. A very big <laughs> snoot indeed. Oh, also, very... has this made an improvement? to my audio gang am i coming it has you know what i think it has a fair bit <clears throat> a fair bit <laughs> okay all right i'm ready all right Anil. okay we are back then so we are on to uh, a slightly different round uh now mike if you can bring up the uh, you're already there mate it's happened okay fine i'm lagging <laughs> um so this round is called population dynamics uh, oh god um <laughs> so what it is is ah discord yep. please please discord no uh what are you doing oh no Discord's what, doing what weird. is happening what is happening sorry uh <laughs> no <clears throat> Sorry, my Discord is playing up a little bit. It's a oh, trouble yeah. with uh, with Daniel's go. setup <laughs> is that whenever he starts talking about population dynamics, his Discord just like <laughs> overthrows his entire computer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like nothing. Uh, ah, yeah. So what we are looking for in the next round are the ten largest world cities by population size. Uh, this is a buzzer round. Oh, God. Uh, oh. So fingers on the buzzers. You buzz in, you get to guess. Uh, uh, I'll clear the buzzers and someone else can guess. You can keep guessing as many times as you like. Three strikes and you are out of the round. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to. It's to keep it moving a little bit. Uh, so three wrong guesses and you're out. Uh, oh, leaving God. it, leaving it for your competitors. Each correct answer will get you one point. Uh, we are looking for the ten largest world cities by population size. Uh, if we can move to the next slide. All right. Horrifying. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a horrifying round. I'm going to be out <laughs> so quickly. So, buzz in when you have a guess. Sir. Um, I have listed Wait. the 10 cities by their population. Sir. Do we have to guess which one No, you is? don't. All I want is the name of the city. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nico, you're up with the first guess. Sir. New York. Incorrect. Uh, that really? is not one of the top ten cities. Uh, one strike for Nico. Oh, the uh, you can just about see. So, population sizes um, in descending order. The top city is thirty-seven point four million. Then thirty point four million, twenty-seven point one million, twenty-two million, twenty-two point eight million, twenty-one million, twenty point nine million, twenty point five million. 20.4 million and 19.2 million. Uh, uh, these have been rounded off to three significant figures. Um, <laughs> I buzzed. I also buzzed. Oh, sorry. I forgot to reset the buzzers. Um, <laughs> God, sorry. Helen, you, Buzzer. Helen, you go first. I was going to guess Tokyo. Correct. Tokyo is the number one on the list. Uh, oh, excellent. Hey, that's that with insane. Wow. Mike. Uh, Hong Kong. Incorrect. Uh, one strike for Mike. Uh, no. Nico. Singapore. Incorrect. Uh, I, oh my god, I'm going to be so out of this. Me too. Helen. Helen? Who? Helen? <laughs> oh no! Paris? Incorrect. Uh, one strike for Helen. Uh, oh, oh. Mike. Uh, Cape Town? Oh, okay. Incorrect. Two strikes for Mike. Oh. Uh, 
This round might be over a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Yeah, because you put a deletion criteria in here. <laughs> and I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Helen. This is a... Uh, Nairobi. Incorrect. Uh, everyone Ooh. is now on two strikes. Uh... Oh. Nico. Sao Paulo? Correct. Uh, oh, Sao Paulo is the number four on the list at 22 oh, million. Uh, I got one. <laughs> so we have Tokyo in Japan and Sao Paulo in Brazil. Uh, this uh, is very difficult. I, I buzzed. Oh, oh, you need to reset. Yeah, sorry. sorry reset. <laughs> Mike. Rio de Janeiro. Incorrect. Uh, Mike, that is your third strike. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. Um, you, you, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Helen. Mumbai? Correct. Mumbai is the number nine at 20.4 million. Uh, Oof. Ask for it. I'm going to make it five strikes. Uh, this is Mike, going back. Mike, you're back. You have two oh more strikes. So. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't help. <laughs> uh... So, you've guessed Tokyo, you've guessed Sao Paulo, you've guessed Mumbai in India. Nico. Hong Kong? Uh, Mike has already guessed Hong Kong. Oh, bollocks. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not <laughs> counting that. I'm not counting that as a strike. Oh, that was where my that was where my head was at as well. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Uh, this is a bit the left field. St. Petersburg. Incorrect. Uh, I can see where you're going with that. That's it. Same. Helen. Moscow. Incorrect. Uh, yeah, again, I was like, I was like, would it be Moscow or would it be St. Petersburg that had the bigger population? It's probably neither. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's probably neither. Um, <laughs> where's got really densely packed populations? India has really densely packed populations, but I don't know any Indian cities. But this is what my head's at. It's always like, huh? Okay. Mike. Uh, oh, this is me out again, I'm fairly confident. Karachi. Incorrect. That oh. is you out, unfortunately. Uh, Helen. Ooh. Helen? Bangalore? Not Bangalore, I'm afraid. That's your fourth. You have one more. Nico, you oh. have three. Nice. This round is brutal. This is tense. This is tense as all hell. <laughs> oh, I've got um, all these treats here for if like... I thought I was doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> I closed the jelly bean jar. Oh, oh my. Oh, no. <laughs> Buenos Aires? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, third strike for Nico. Uh... Oh, Bryn has uh, redeemed Comfort Crew. Uh, we do oh. have Chonko's here. Hamid. Comfort Hamid is with me. <laughs> Crochet Hamid is here with me. Uh, I'll, I don't have a pocket, unfortunately. I can't put him... Uh, There's... Uh... <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Actually, can I fit him on my mic? Has anyone said CO yet? Not yet. Uh, uh, soul is not one of the answers, I'm afraid. Oh, I said it wrong uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Helen and Nico, you both have one each. One more guess, e one more incorrect guess each. Uh, yeah, Fox Love Pal says, Mike, I'm officially asking you to have a treat for trying very hard. I uh, know you don't get treats for trying very hard. You get treats for doing good. <laughs> I appreciate Helen. it. But I need to do good. 
Oh, you deserve to be treated even when you're doing bad. <laughs> yes, everyone deserves treat. Uh, you are trying. Everybody is trying. Uh, All right, thanks. <clears throat> Helen. Uh, Mexico City? Correct. Mexico City is number five oh, on the list. Of the oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's an million. amazing shout. That's an amazing oh. shout. God. I'm so tense. I'm so tense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, like mixing up the energy levels. Uh. To, to be fair, I mean, I'm I, the tension's gone for me. I'm just thinking about like where I would pick next. Yeah, um, haven't we done like the entire world by now? No, <laughs> because my next no, guess would have no. been more European. <laughs> Oh, but Europe, Europe's too. I I will say there are no European yeah. cities on this list. Because uh, it's like otherwise, like London and Berlin yeah, would be like, like up there. But no, was, London's but not London's population quite... is in like the eight millions. So yeah. yes, London's population is eight million, and that's one of the highest in like that's one of the highest yeah, in Europe. Tiny. But... We're tiny. Yeah, yeah. Like we're large, we're large for Europe. It's not to be but, anyone uh... in Europe. Yeah, yeah. So where else oh, that's a European be? country. There, is, there isn't a European. There isn't a European city on the top twenty list. Uh, wow. You in the, wow. Really? In the top twenty? No. Wow. God. What gets me is that we said we said New York, and that wasn't it. And I feel like that's the most densely populated. city. Yeah, I thought New York was the most, but it's not. It's just five times York, bigger than London. New York. New York City is in the teens, but it is not in the top ten. Nico, you have a guess. Is there a Beijing yet? Uh, Beijing is correct. It is the number eight answer. <gasps> oh, wow. Five million. Uh, Neeks. No. Oh, I had to get in there somewhere. Okay, Thank you. you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we tried Hong Kong. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, Beijing <laughs> is a great right. shout. Oh. Helen. Shanghai? Correct, Shanghai is number oh, three. Yeah. On the oh list. man. You are currently missing number two, number six, number seven, and number ten. God, 30.4 million. What the who has 30.4 million just casually in their pocket? <laughs> uh Benzo uh, Bezos. Good old Jeffy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh no. Um. Um. See, what I find the the problem is a lot of countries that have a large population are actually very sparse. Like Canada, for example, has quite a large population, but it's spread out so much that there isn't one city that houses a lot of people. Yeah, population density of Canada is minuscule. Uh... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Australia is the same because essentially everyone lives around the outside ring of Australia yeah. and no one lives in the middle, necessarily. But yeah, it's one kangaroo that just sort of dominates the entirety of the inlands of Australia and no one dares to cross wow. it. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's... Mm. The spiders all <laughs> live there and that's why we don't go there because the spiders will kill. Yeah. And there's, uh, there's quite a lethal... I mean cross-contamination where like there's a spider that can jump as high as a kangaroo you what, don't want to really <laughs> no <laughs> really <laughs> well, actually, maybe i don't know i don't know my biology heads, Nico. people aren't going to be able to <laughs> sleep tonight now but this is well exactly right this is why i don't understand why you'd want to live in a place that just wants to kill you and eat you <laughs> um i'll be guessing um i can't think of any so what about, Helen and Nico, can I have a guess yeah. anyway? Even though I won't get yeah, a point. Go on. Yeah, what you about, might as well. What about like Brasilia or somewhere like that? Because Brasilia is huge. Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, is it not? No, it's not. Brasilia is, it is like... No, it isn't. Oh. Brasilia is less populated. Like Rio de Janeiro and uh, and Sao Paulo are the biggest cities in uh, in Brazil. Uh, yeah. And Sao Paulo is only on... is like. Rio de Rio doesn't make the top ten. No. Mm. No. Oh, well, I, should, I probably shouldn't oh. have said that, but no, oh, no, you've already said Rio. No, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No. Uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, so, I don't want to say it because I reckon Helen will get it immediately if I said the country. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually said to me in the chat. They said PXL bug said, Mike, you keep saying Brasilia as if it's a thing. 
Brasilia is a thing. Brasilia is the capital. I'm, I'm of going it's by... the capital of Brazil. Uh, oh, I don't uh, think Helen watches Formula One, so I'm going by Formula One possible race <laughs> tracks. And there's one where I think is like a massive population density. Hanoi. Hanoi. Uh, incorrect. That is your uh, fifth strike. Oh, oh Helen, my God. Has one incorrect. What about? So for the. Per for the purposes of recap, we have had correct guesses as Tokyo, Shanghai, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, Beijing, and Mumbai. There are four more answers left to get. Uh, yeah. What about Dubai um, or places like that? I feel like that's too new in development to have loads and loads of people, and it's like in the middle of a desert. But uh, desert. It desert. It is, <laughs> is in the middle of a desert. That's true. But it also has the Burj Khalifa, which is the largest building in the world. <laughs> so uh, there must be a few people who live there, eh? At least two, like at least. Yeah, yeah. Helen. I want to guess, I, I'm not going to pronounce it right. I think there's another city in China. I mean, obviously there are other cities in China, <laughs> but there's another big, big one. Yes, I, um, I know what you mean. <laughs> is it, um... Oh, I think it's pronounced like okay. It's like G U A N G Z H O U or something like that in China. Uh, Yun Sao. Uh, Gu uh, Guangzhou, I think is the yeah. so is that. That's the one I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, that is oh, your no. fifth strike. <laughs> so, all right, Adel, put the... us out of our misery. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, the remaining cities at number right. two well, was uh, ooh, if you can click uh, if you can click I've forward. Done I've done it for you, mate. You're yeah. all good. You number two down. is Delhi in India. Number six is Dhaka in Bangladesh. Uh, number seven is Cairo oh, in Egypt, oh, and number oh. ten is in Japan. So I that knew is... it. I knew that there had to be one, at least one in India. I know well, we got Mumbai, like, but like yeah, I knew Delhi that there Mumbai. had to be another one. Because uh, all no, I could God. see in my head throughout the entirety of that round is that stupid map online <laughs> that's got that circle in it. <laughs> and it's like more people live inside this circle than live outside of this circle. And it's drawn like across... Uh, number, 10, uh, number 10 is Osaka in Japan. No. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that not showing up on screen? No, no it is. It's, uh, oh, it's right. There. Okay. <laughs> I see it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would never have gotten... Osaka. No, no, no. <laughs> I should have gotten all of the others. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we all I'm, should have. Gotten... I'm, <laughs> I will. I will say that I'm surprised nobody guessed Delhi. Uh, that was mm. that was probably the one that I, I'm most surprised that you all missed. Uh, mm. But some really good guesses there. And yes, there are yeah. like no European cities on the top twenty. New York only just comes in at number like seventeen. And um, for the chat wow. purposes, this. A, this was figures compiled in February 2021 uh, uh, from uh, available sources. Oh. Uh, wow. Uh, so yeah, like Dhaka is the one I wouldn't have expected anyone to guess. Uh, um, Good Lord. Just because uh, uh, generally um, it tends to get forgotten about in these sorts of things. But yes, there we go. Tokyo, Delhi, Shanghai, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, Dhaka, Cairo, Beijing, Mumbai, and Osaka. Moving on. We had we had a, we had a, yeah, we no, had a really good. Go. I mean, had really yeah. good. Really I good got goal. chat. I got two points for that. You did. Somehow. You did. So against scores, the odds, I got no scores, points for that. <laughs> uh, the scores at the end of that round are Nico on four, Mike on eight, uh, Helen on sixteen. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, there's uh, no contest now, is there? <laughs> Uh, we move on to another round where you get to catch up. Uh, uh, these, Each of these is worth three points. Uh, mapped out on the next slide, you will see a map outline of a nation state. Simply identify the country. Uh, is this a uh, person first or is it a round robin? Uh, this will be a round robin again. Uh, so, Everyone's uh, redeeming so hydrate, by the way, so make sure you get your oh, drinking yeah. in. <laughs> That. I've got my ben, orange ben. and mango squash. Perfect. Mm. I drunk it. Okay, my squash. so it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, picture number one is for Mike. Oh, uh, that's Spain. 
Correct. So. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, Mike. I would never have <laughs> so bad at this. Without Portugal <laughs> attached to that, I would have never have guessed that. I again, uh, the only reason why I know is because of the work that I've done in the in the past. <laughs> and do you know why? <laughs> Shall I tell you the embarrassing story that sits behind that? Go for it. I was once in a boardroom meeting with the head of research for Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. And I was talking them through some population figures about gaming, what gamers look like, who's playing what, that sort of thing, mainly focusing on PlayStation. And I said that the we talked a little bit about the capital, so we talked a little bit about Madrid, we talked about places like Barcelona, we talked about other places as well. And I was pointing at the board, uh, at the PowerPoint shape. thing on the board, and on the, on the board was a map of France. <laughs> and the board... The head of research for Sony Europe turned around to me and said, you do realize that's not Spain. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. So now I categorically know what Spain looks like. <laughs> Etched forever. Well, the only one I'm going to no is Italy. That's the only one I know where, how it's shaped because it's shaped like a boot and that is <laughs> <laughs> um, Moving on. Uh, picture number two is for Nico. Uh... Oh boy. It's New Zealand. Uh, that is correct. Uh, hey, Nico's got Nico! three points. Uh, so quick. <sighs> Such quickness. It's, it's, it's that Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Is I it? was looking. Uh, <laughs> In the true geekness, I was looking about a map one time of where they film stuff for Lord of the Rings. Uh, <laughs> moving on, uh, country number three is for oh, Helen. Oh, Oof. Oof. Right. Oof, that's a lot of little islands. That's a very, that's a very long thing. It is. Uh... What am I looking at? Uh... Um. Um. D Brin. <laughs> Brin in the chat. Oh my god. <laughs> not upside down Norway. All of these countries are correct, are the correct orientation. No. At least I'm just, as presented I'm just, on most world maps. I'm, so. to, I'm just going to guess Japan, because that's the only country I know with so many islands. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Mike or yeah. Nico? Uh... I think <laughs> I think I know where this is, and I yeah, think I, think I can... know Ripley. I think... Uh, Ripley. I think Ripley. I could... I think I could point this out on a map. Chat! What? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Uh, Nico. I've got a feeling I'm looking at South America. It looks like it's attached on like the outskirts of a big ass country, which makes me think it's either Peru or Chile. And I can't remember which one it is, so I'm just going to guess Peru. Incorrect. This is the bit that I learned about last night. What is that called? It's where the Philippines are. It's above the Philippines. Oh, you're there. Yeah, that's it's, a good It's that's a good in count. that bit. But what's that called? It said Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a guess, Mike? I'm fairly confident it's that bit that's like in the sea above where the Philippines is, but I don't know what it's called, and I can't, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid not. Nico, oh, I'm no. going to give you two points for that to, as oh, a consolation. It is chilly. Oh, <laughs> oh. It's, it's one of the, it's because there's really big countries in South America. You are exactly right. And then right. there's titchy tiny ones who've just managed to sort of like <laughs> cling, up, cling on to their yeah. independence. So you've got the Pacific Ocean on the west and Argentina on the, uh, oh. on the east of the country. Yes. So that's oh, the Andes right. running down. It's very nice. Thank you, Anno. <laughs> um, uh, moving on. Uh, country number four is for Mike. Oh, 
god. Um, wait, is that a bit missing in the middle? Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Because it looks like a skull head if you, like, look at it upside down. It looks like Cubone's skull a little bit if the eye <laughs> socket was bigger. I can see what... Ah, uh, that's a... That's a really interesting um, observation. Beeps. Sorry, beeps. Sorry, beeps. It's got, it's got a straight line though. Where do you have linear borders? This is a uh, all over the place. Uh, uh, a um... lot are in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can tell you that. That's very. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fair. <laughs> Yes, Cass, I did prepare for this quiz by playing Pokemon all night. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. Um, no, I actually played GeoGuessr last night to, <laughs> to try and learn some things. Um, I have, I have literally Sorry. no idea. Sorry, chat. There was just a couple outside my house who just peered directly into my window wondering why I just put something on my hat. Like, an elderly couple and their sewing tees are just like, what are you doing? And then walked away. Anyway. Perfect. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say, mm -hmm. is it Mongolia? Incorrect. Uh, would anyone else care to guess? Hmm. Uh... <laughs> no. Nico. I feel like it must be an African country, but there are like 40 African countries. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this country. Oh, by the way, no, mm. I'm going to go ahead and guess that you're not including American states in this. No, no, no. These are yeah. all countries. So... Yeah. Be incredibly unfair. Yes, what that would. Date yeah. would that be? No, it's not. It's just a sort of straight line, and I thought, well, maybe this one's coming up. <laughs> and then he just does one of like the square states. <laughs> I was like, which no, one? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not putting like Colorado in here. Mm. Virginia. No, I'm like gonna. Oh, okay, the no. whole thing. The whole is either a, a lake or another country, and um. There aren't many countries that have other countries inside them, but I don't know the names of any of them. I just know that this, there's like this... three or four. Yeah, the only one I yeah I can't think of a country which is completely housed inside, except maybe the China's, but that's not China. Like you know how Hong Kong's in China, and then you got Tibet, but it's not Tibet, so like the outskirt. So, I mean, my guess was Hungary, but it's probably not Hungary. But well, my guess is hungry, Anil. Uh, I'm... incorrect, sir. Um, I'm also, South we, we can see you googling. Oh, right. Oops, yes. So, <laughs> Helen, uh, just... uh, Helen, Helen gave the correct answer before that came up, or, uh, before that came up. Oh, I that's South Africa. Window. Uh, correct. Helen, that is uh, South Africa. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. my god. Uh, and you are correct. That hole in the middle is a landlocked country. Uh... What is the landlocked the country? Yeah, what is uh... I had a big conversation with somebody about so... how they went to Lesotho. That's yeah. So I can't remember. I can't remember exactly if it's Lesotho or or rather one. It's sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> landlocked countries are in the area are Lesotho and Swaziland, but one of them has changed their name, and I can't remember which one it is. And I should have looked it up, but. Um... Uh, before I, I, will, I will find out after because I, I'm not going to hold this up but, um, to look that up. But there are, uh, yeah, one of the countries in that area has changed their name recently, and I can't remember. It's something like SM. I think it begins with E now. Yeah, the same so Eswatini. Eswatini. Just said... Eswatini. That's yeah. it. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, Lesotho has become uh, Eswatini. Yeah. Cool. Moving on, uh, number five is for Nico. Uh... Oh god, oh, Lord. it looks like a potato falling out of space. <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of looks like uh, Calcifer in oh, Castle. Yeah, Castle. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologize. Uh... <laughs> egg, egg, <laughs> the egg is back. 
<laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember which way round. Uh, I think was. this is a tiny place. I think we've zoomed like all the way in because I cannot picture a single country, a big country like that. It's got to be like a little island off somewhere that somehow miraculously managed to keep their independence. Uh, yes, actually, I'm just seeing something in the chat. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Elias Bertrand, you are completely correct. A landlock just means no ocean or no access to uh, the sea. Technically, um, being uh, enclosed like that is um, uh, like it's enclaved is one of the terms yeah. for it. But um, I think there is a different term as well, which I can't remember. Uh, My so, guess yeah. is like Southeast Asia. Mm. Southeast Asia is not a country. Actually. No, but that area is where I'm going from. I know it's not a country. <laughs> not just, Push yes. the immediate shade. The no immediate one. shade. <laughs> That's supposed to be. Oh, buddy. Um. <laughs> The thing is, I'm trying to think about the countries in that area, and I know it's not none of them, it can't be anything because they all have Papua New Guinea? Papua New Guinea. Incorrect. Mm. Uh, would anyone else care to buzz in? Oh, God. I'm with, I'm with Nico on this one. I think that that's an island. Looking at the borders of it, it looks it a lot island. like an yeah. island, yeah. You are correct, it is an island. Uh... But which one? Oh, God. What island nations do we know, Mike? I don't know um... anything, Helen. I've come to realise this. <laughs> I think. Well, it's nothing. It's it's not us. It's not. It's not Britain. No. So we no. 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 That one off. It's not Britain. That. Yeah. Let's write that one off. Yeah. <laughs> it. See, I think um... it's more tropical than that. My guess would actually yeah. be more in the South Americas, and it like. It just looks like a pineapple. Yeah, mine would be one of the islands off of South America. I was thinking somewhere like Barbados or somewhere like that, but I don't oh, think Barbados is that goodness. shape. That's a good guess. <laughs> I don't think many of the Caribbean islands are round. No, that's... <laughs> that's, that's, that's... So, I'm so distracted by the round. <laughs> yeah, but that's, but that's exactly my point. Is like I'm thinking in that part of the world, but a lot of those islands are sort of like little lines from where the ocean has eroded them. That's quite yeah, smooth, but yeah. it's got, that's quite, that's done good there. Yeah, mm. very smooth bum. Mm. <laughs> very smooth bum. We've gone from soggy bottoms cool. to smooth bottoms. <laughs> yeah. Uh... We say bottom on Twitch? Oh, sorry. Yeah, perfectly <laughs> moist. <laughs> oh, I, I might draw the line of that. But... <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh... So, would anyone care to venture a guess? Or... Yeah, we probably should guess, shouldn't we? Um... Uh, do you know what, then? I seeing as know. seeing as we've talked me around from it being in that part of the world, I'm going to go totally the other way. I'm going to go Mediterranean, and I'm going to say that is Crete. Incorrect. Crete is not a country as well, I'm afraid. No, <laughs> it isn't. But, but the Cretans <laughs> will amazing. often attest. <laughs> Monster uh, egg bum. Oh god, I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> uh, Helen, do you have a guess? Sir? Uh, um, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't have. A, I don't even have a guess. I don't want to just pick a random place. Um, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, your guesses, your guesses have been have been pretty good uh, so far. I don't know Vietnam. Incorrect. Uh, I don't even know if that's an island. <laughs> <laughs> no, Vietnam is not an island. Uh, this is the Resplendent Isle. This is Sri Lanka. Oh. Oh, oh, no. I don't, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Oh no, I've, I've been <laughs> We I, all I, have. I mean, I think at this point oh, we all have. a moist egg bum. I mean, it's not really up to that. One day we will atone for our crimes. No, <laughs> 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 we made this about it looking like a bum. <laughs> I'm, like nothing you have, nothing you said hasn't been invalid. Uh, so. <laughs> 
I mean, it's it's generally considered like a dime, like a uh, a teardrop or um, <laughs> like a gemstone shape, but you know, egg or <laughs> or bum, you know. It's not to be early. You can go back. Oh, oh um, God, I forgot which one that is. Uh, number Five. six. This is number uh, six. Uh, Helen, you get first. Uh, yes. um, I was about to say you get first crack at this, but then it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Adil, yes. <laughs> uh, so number six. Uh, where are we for this one? Oh, I like how the water has just sort of wiggled its way inland, in yeah. like the bottom. <laughs> is nice little scooch in there. Oh, Anil, this could be anywhere, and I know that's the point. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, Anil, this could be Wait, anywhere. She Anil. says from the side of the car, holding the map. <laughs> where, this, this could be <laughs> wherever we are now. Could be literally anywhere. <laughs> Take care, Drat. Bye, Drat. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know the the Philippines. I don't know. Unfortunately, not. Uh... Uh, Mike or Nico, no would you care to guess? Uh, Nico! Indonesia? Incorrect. Um, Mike? I I think at this point we can all safely assume that I have literally no idea. <laughs> Portugal? You know what Portugal looks like. I do know what Portugal looks like, yeah. I, I can't. Can't. Can you ready your ducks, please? Uh... Ducks? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, is it Sweden? No! Oh, yeah, it is. No, oh, it is. It's definitely Sweden. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've let all the Swedes down. Oh, no. Oh, and the uh, chat goes wild with ducks. Oh, Quack. no, I've let all of Sweden down. <laughs> Uh, if you care to show the answer for ch for the purposes of chat, I have. <laughs> I don't have. They, they see it. They can see it. <laughs> All right. Uh, last three, Mike. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, image number seven. I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that. Um. Wow. What? I mean, that oh. is an incredible country. Yeah, that is majestic. That is, if you were going to have a, a country outline, that's the one you want. I would actually make uh, that my flag. <laughs> <laughs> I would say pay attention to the center of the country. Yeah, because it's split in half. Which so, now what's going on? So my my immediate thought, right? My immediate thought is that that split, that break is probably caused by one of the rivers that comes from Lake Victoria because the that's the that's the kind of land formations that you would tend to see but I could be totally wrong and it could be in the ocean um it looks like someone took a biscuit snapped it in two and then like <laughs> nah I don't want it no more and like kind of shoved it together and put it back in the plate what Nico <laughs> what Biscuits are you eating? I, 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 I love the way that your mind works, Nico. It's an absolute you. joy. Uh. <laughs> Do you, your biscuits look no, like that? That just reminded me of uh, there was this museum who excavate who had this mummy sarcophagus. I can't remember it's called. What do you call it? Sar sarcophagus? So we just call it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one of the uh, research assistants and whatnot knocked off the nose. And in a haste, they just kind of super glued the nose back on in hopes that no one could see it. <laughs> and it turns out it was like $40 million worth of damage. And just, yeah. No. But if you ever think you're having a bad day at work, just feel sorry for the person who accidentally nudged the nose off. Thank you. Nico, no spoilers for 200. <laughs> Soz chat. Magnus 200 ending shown. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it's got islands. Is it islands, Mike? Could it be islands? It could be Definitely islands. Definitely not islands. <laughs> because no, that bit on the no, right no, is no. Northern no. Ireland, and the bit on the left is the rest Boys. of Ireland, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, lads. I'm hearing you, Helen. No. Also, I'm looking at your photo of you as a dog, and I just want to give you like a nice little boop on your nose. So, 
<laughs> yeah, Helen looks the most serene out of all of us now. <laughs> um, I mean, I have literally no idea. Um, I guess that's uh, somewhere in... I mean, looking at the land, I would guess it might be near Turkey, but it's not Turkey, obviously. I'm going to say Croatia. Anna, have you muted yourself? Anna, you... Uh, I did oh. mute myself. Uh, of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. It's completely professional here. Um, Nico or Helen, do you have a guess? Or... Oh, I guess that's wrong then. Sorry, uh, I, I of didn't... course it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, yes, it is not Croatia. <laughs> um, uh, I want Helen to um, guess first because I don't know. Is it down by one less country? Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to guess one of the Balkan countries, <clears throat> but. I don't actually know the names of any of them. I just know that they're Balkan. The Balkans is uh, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, and Croatia, I think. Bulgaria, and then. And a bunch of other ones as well. <laughs> Aren't they like Macedonia, like Macedonia, Serbia, Slovenia. I'm Bulgaria. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Bulgaria, I'm guessing Bulgaria. Uh, no, it is not Bulgaria. <laughs> to be clear, I didn't say exclusive to. <laughs> <laughs> is this one Indonesia? <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. All right, then it goes to you. The reason why I said pay what attention to the, it, the split in the middle because the split in the middle is man-made. It is the Panama Canal. Oh, yeah. Panama. <laughs> that's that's good. Oh yeah, the straight line in the left should have gave it away that it was going to be connected to something. <laughs> yes, connecting the. Um, Connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans through the uh, through the neck of Central America. The uh, dude has the what's it? <laughs> uh, Nico, we Hi. move on to number eight uh, oh, and your first my shot. At God. This one. Oh, it's a naturally occurring triangle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tripolopolis. That's no, not. Um, my guess is it's it's gonna be because North Africa, well, Africa has quite a lot of man-made borders like that where they've just sort of sectioned it off. I wonder where you learned that from. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's somewhere northern Africa, and. Uh, if you think of the lyrics to Africa by Toto, that's not going to help you out one way or another. But now it's in everyone's heads. You can still so bless the rains, though. You can bless the rains. Down in oh, Africa. Boy. Bless the rain down in the There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. <clears throat> the Weird Al version of that song is good with uh, <laughs> What's the Face. Um, but that's not why we're here today. Today we're going to guess a country. <laughs> it's not, it's not Egypt, because I'm looking at the northwest tip of Africa, Africa right now. Both that's brackets. exactly where I'm looking at. <laughs> and in that northwest, northwest tip of Africa is Nigeria? Nigeria. Incorrect. This is not mm. Nigeria. Would mm. anyone else care to? Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh... Would anyone care to buzz in for this one? Helen, you've got to save us here. You know so much <laughs> more about Africa than I do. Uh, I don't know that much about Africa. Africa yeah, but but the, but the um... bar is pretty low, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> <laughs> What I do know, what I do know about Africa is not what the countries look like. Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm going to guess. Uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, incorrect. Uh, this, right. uh, Mike. Yeah, I'm. I'll have a guess. I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, uh, Morocco. Incorrect. You are right. It is North Africa. This is Libya. Oh, oh that's what <laughs> Libya looks like. Indeed, it does. Uh, uh, Libya, where uh, the country once uh, once noted for having the all green flag. Uh, um, so I'm going to mm. guess that's not going to be in the flag round then. <laughs> <laughs> no, because also Libya doesn't have that uh, doesn't have a uh, doesn't have that flag anymore. Um, it is a black, white, and black, white, red, and green uh, flag now. Uh, so it's and not going to be last... in the historic flag round either. <laughs> no, <laughs> do not, I am not running a historical flag round. Uh, um, oh. We move on to the last one of the round. This one is for you to start with, Helen. Oh. Oh. Uh, um. Mike, do you have a guess? <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I think that it's. Um. I think that it's. Uh. Um. Uh. Bosnia Herzegovina. Good guess. No, Helen and Nico, you're in the right area. Um. This is Malaysia. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because, um, oh, like, you got. Yeah, you've it's... got the bit that's attached to, like, the peninsula that, like, Singapore, uh, Singapore is on as well. As we move on to. <laughs> uh, we move on to the penultimate round uh, oh, wow. uh, of uh, today's festivities. Uh, Good lord. Um, with the scores currently standing at uh, Nico on nine points, uh, Oof. Mike. On ten points. Oh my god! <laughs> and Helen on nineteen points. So. Oh wow! Helen is just storming this. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, I was gonna be happy if I managed to get a single point after the break, and I, I've exceeded that expectation. So anything now yeah, is just gravy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't uh, believe that all of like all of the research that I did last night <laughs> has been all of the research. I did some research. I played GeoGuessr. I spent some time looking at Google Maps. And I had and I thought that was fine. Maybe this is the reason why I'm not a psychologist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I think it I think as experimental design goes, Mike, that might not have been your best idea. Probably not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Helen. Um Okay, for our penultimate round, okay. uh, we are going to look at food and drink. Ooh. So the following slides will give you um a oh. selection of regional and protected specialties. So Europe has a a bunch of schemes where certain produce or specialities of a country are like geographically protected. Uh, um, so you can't call something this particular, like a given product. For example, you can't call something champagne if it doesn't come from the Champagne from region Champ of France. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Right, so, right. Like geographically protected why. names like this. So <laughs> all of the following slides will give you a list of three protected foodstuffs from a given country. All I want you to do is identify the European country that yeah. these foods come from. Okay. Should okay. be pretty straightforward, he said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Nico, Mike. Al Anil thinks that yeah. this is straightforward and now I'm more scared than I was before entering this yeah. round. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if sausage roll is protected and whether or not we can say Yorkshire's a country or not. Aye. Who knows? So, the first... Is uh, this another buzzing one, or...? No, 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 this will be... This is another round, Robert, no. Good, good. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, number one for you, Mike. Uh, okay. Where do Camargue rice, the Rie de Camargue, Alsatian honey, miel d'Alsace, and Calvados come from, uh, well, I mean, that sounds like French. Are we guessing the country? You All I want is the country, yeah. Is it... Is it France? Correct! One point! Oh my god! Oh my it is, god. See, 
All I want nice is the country come. name. Yes. Uh, Kamal Gray. Uh, I'm so rich to us now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honey from the east of the country uh, and Gavilus. All of these are protected under geographic uh, under um, the various appellation laws uh, that apply in Europe. Country number two for uh, Nico: <clears throat> Sorrento lemons, limone di Sorrento, South Tyrolean cherry liqueur, Sud Tyrola Kirsch, and Fontina are all specialities of which country? Uh, so I was feeling pretty good until I saw Limoni di Sorrento because it looks a completely different place to the Kirsch. Kirsch, I've drank before. It's not bad. Oh, Sorrento. Lemons. I love yeah, Kirsch. <laughs> Kirsch has got it. Kirsch is something northern. But lemons are something seven. This is this is like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Combination Sorry. of the two. Sorrento Kirsch lemon. makes me think it's like the Eastern European block, like North Eastern European block. So my guess is Poland. Poland. Incorrect. Uh, uh, Mike or Helen, would you care to guess in, uh, guess in, buzz in as to where Sorrento Lemon, South Tyrolean Cherry Liqueur, or Fontina come from? Helen. Spain? Was that Spain you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Incorrect. Uh, Italy? Mike? Is it Italy? Ooh. Correct! <gasps> These are all Italian uh, products. I should have known that well, Limoni looks Italian, but I didn't think Kirsch would be. Oh dear. Do you know well, what? I'm never going back to Italy again. <laughs> yeah, I the, northern saw. The, the northern states that border, uh, like uh, South Tyrol, uh, borders Switzerland and Austria. I saw Sorrento lemons, <laughs> and I was like, I'm fairly confident they come from Italy. And then in my brain, I had like all of the mathematics stuff coming up, and I was like, Anil has asked <laughs> this to Nico, and Nico's part Italian. Maybe it actually is Italy. And I was like, oh my god. But it's like, I should have kept, I should have stuck to my guns about the limone. Well, so <laughs> yeah, and, and Fontina cheese uh, um, comes from uh, oh, Italy. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, right. Helen, you get question number three. Uh, oh boy. Um,. And apologies, because you said you didn't like cheese, but uh, where do <laughs> Ethrom, Havati, and Wadden Sea Beef, and I hope I've got this pronunciation right, Vadahavstuda, come from? Uh, I'm guessing purely on your pronunciation, and I'm going to say Germany. Incorrect. Uh, <laughs> these are not German products. Uh, <laughs> Mike. Uh, Is it Norway? Incorrect. These are not Norwegian um, products. Uh, Norway isn't isn't. Well, yeah, it is. It's just not in the European Union, but it is part of Europe. Correct. Ignore me. Ignore me. I it's, know things. It's sea. <laughs> My, it's sea beef from the sea cows. That's I can see I where you're looking. Looking at it now, it does look like it's got that sort of uh, Nordic esque names going on. <laughs> Come. Finland. Incorrect. Finland. Uh, but you're again. But you're right in the uh, Nordic, in the sense that um, this is these are all Danish products. Oh uh, man! Uh, uh, from the Wadden Sea, um, which is like uh, I can't remember exactly which bit of of Denmark, but I think it's like that bit between Jutland and the other islands. I can't remember if there are any Danes in chat. Who would care to correct me on that uh please do so that was question number three question number four is for mike where do bera alta apples madeiran punch and barroso beef uh, i think this is right uh masha de bera alta poncho de madeira and carne barosa i'm almost certainly got the accents wrong on the a's there um now I don't know if you've thrown the middle one in there as a bit of a red herring because I recognize those letters and that's Portuguese. So I think I think this is from 
Brazil. Mike? Mike, it's Mike, it's Europe. Europe. It's Europe. Europe only. But I thought that was the, Is this just in Europe? Yeah. Yeah. Because only only European country stuff, well, barring a few others, are protected under European legislation. It might be Portugal then. <laughs> Correct, these are Portuguese products. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brazil could be part of Europe if they want to be. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I think Brazil. I think Brazil had enough of being part of Europe in like the 17th or 18th century. Yeah. <laughs> could be true. Uh, uh, right. Oh, so but you got, this you got the point for that. To... <laughs> thanks, thanks for giving me the point, <laughs> despite my <laughs> massive lack of concentration. So, question number five goes to Nico. Uh, uh, where do oh, okay. Tyrolean mountain cheese, Tyrola bergkäse, Styrian horseradish, Steirisches Kren? And Jägerte, a herbal liqueur, come from. Uh... We're going to the Styrian Grand Prix. It's Austria. Correct. Yes. yes. No, all Austrian oh, brother. Formula One. Did it for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, well, first I was like, where do Jäger bombs come from? And then I saw the Styria. I was like, no, 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 this is Austria. Sorry, I'm excited then. Jäger Sorry. bombs come from the bar, my friend. <laughs> 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 so yes, so all three of these Tirola Berkes, Atayotis Kren and Jägerte Herbal Liqueur all are noted Austrian products. Uh, Good work, Meeks. Thank you. <laughs> Number six, we move on. Helen, your first shot at uh, this one. Where do cumin-infused cheese, Berchenleidse mit Schleuters, uh, Brabant Asparagus, Brabant Saval Asperge, and I know I've pronounced that wrong, and Zeichestrop, uh, a high sugar syrup, come from? Uh... Belgium? Incorrect. Uh... Oh. Sneaking. Would anyone else care to guess? A little bit of cumin when no one's looking. Who would, who would do I, that? I, I love this cheese. Uh, this is really nice cheese. A little... uh... You go, you go and put the kettle on. As you put <laughs> the kettle on, they slice open your cheese, shove a bit of cumin there, close it back up before you come back. <laughs> it's usually cumin seed. Um, oh, so yeah, it... that makes sense. That make, that's a lot of sense. That. The other Brabant teller. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to have a cheeky guess because of the accent spin that you put on this. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking too. And I think... Because my, I think, do you know what? I'm just going to say it. I think this comes from northern Switzerland. Incorrect. Uh, oh, man. Nico, would Is you it hungry? Incorrect. These are all products of the Netherlands. Oh, they're, they're, uh, they're from the Netherlands. Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, they would just snake in. Yeah, they would. Uh, like top is what? Stroopwafels. Stroopwafels. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, of it's course. Thick caramel, it's caramel sugar oh. um, that, that you make. Uh, That's with, why I with. guessed. That's why I guessed Belgium. I thought. Yes, you was, were, you were so close. <laughs> you were so close. Uh, oh, my uh, God. Yes, these are all Dutch products uh, and oh. protected Dutch products. We had uh, such a big Scandinavian following <laughs> before this, and now. <laughs> now it's just now it's they gone. Hate us. Now they hate yeah, us. You, your, your notions of Scandinavia are as uh, as robust as ever, Mike. Scant, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> At best. So, number seven. Uh, uh, this one is for you, Mike. Oh, God. <clears throat> Where do Kalamata olives, Elia Kalamatas, uh, Melahuni, a sesame honey bar, and feta come from and are all protected uh, regional specialties? Correct. Uh, yeah. Greek yeah, feta. because have a bit of Greek fat with me olives, please, lads. Do you know what? Because <laughs> Greece is the only place I've ever been where I actually enjoyed both feta cheese and tomatoes. When I spent a uh, like a long weekend in Athens, it's the only place I've been to where the tomatoes from Athens would 
just so good. And like all of the, the feta, like salads and everything. Oh my god, it was amazing. Great. So, it's not a but... humble brag. I went to Athens. <laughs> I went to Athens and my gap year. It wasn't a gap year. I was there for work. <laughs> there for work. So I have my olives. Question number eight. Uh, this one is for you. Nico, where do Savonian bread baked fish, um, Kalakuko, uh, Lap almond potatoes, uh, Lapin puikala, and Sati, a juniper infused beer, uh, come from? Uh, is this and one's... Are all protected is this one from... Sweden? This is not Sweden. Uh, anyone else care to buzz in? Oh, is it Finland? Correct. These are all finished products. Yes! yes! Nicely Project done! Lapland! Oh, oh my god! Oh, uh, yeah. Yes! Excellent. Come on, Finland! We're still in this! <laughs> I've already pissed oh, yeah. off the Swedes and the people from the Netherlands, but this is my time! Sorry, I didn't actually no. buzz in. I just yelled in it out. In your excitement, I will, I will give you the point. No, no, uh... it's all right. I won't take it because I think Helen buzzed in and I didn't, so... <clears throat> no, it's fine. Um, but yes, these are all... Fine, don't you worry, don't you worry. <laughs> these are all finished products. Uh, and yeah, looking up what the, um, the bread-baked fish is literally herring stuffed in the middle of a loaf of bread uh, and baked. And it looked really interesting. Um, uh, but I don't know where you would go to get something like that in the UK. Um, and the final final question of the round. Uh, Helen, starting off yes. with you. Where I am does, ready to fail. <laughs> uh, where are Waterford Blah, a floury bread roll, Timmerleague brown pudding, uh, a type of blood sausage, and Pachin, uh, a very potent spirit to... Uh, uh, products of and protected. Uh, oh God! Well, I'm trying to think of countries that do blood sausages. I'm thinking like Eastern Europe, northern, like northern Eastern Europe. Um, um, I'll just, I'll just say uh, Poland. Unfortunately, that's not correct. Uh, uh, oh, anyone else care to buzz? Uh, Where do Waterford Blah, Timmerleague Brown Pudding, and Pachin? Yes, we... uh, Elias Bertrand. Pachin is a protected product. Uh, or at least geographic. Yeah, oh, geogra no, I'm thinking of the cat, the poutine cat thing. That's not, that's <laughs> not protected. You mean Pachin? Pachin, yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was thinking of chips and gravy with, uh, with cheese. I was like, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to go way left field think for field but way <laughs> left all right are these like fancy names for things we actually know about but we don't actually call them that anymore so oh, is it like no. It... oh no i think i know what this is oh don't say that helen you know made me feel like i don't know what it is now <laughs> my, my, i'm just i'm just gonna shove it out there i'm just gonna say wales <laughs> In incorrect. Uh, oh, <laughs> like well, it's have... because it's brown pudding, and I thought, well, Scotland has black pudding, so like maybe they were like, well, I'm going to make our own pudding then, and you know. Do you know what? Like, uh... I I like Nico. I'm standing in the very left of that field, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I am going to go way outside of Eastern Europe, and I'm going to say Romania. Ooh, that's quite east. Incorrect. Ooh. Uh, Helen, what did you think it might be? Thought is it um, Scotland? I should have guessed that. It was a 50 50. Why did I guess that? I was on the right frame uh, of mind. No, all of these are products of Ireland. Oh, uh, I should have uh, as in, like, that. similar to where Waterford Crystal comes from. I would have, I would have never known. <laughs> I would have I was never known. Rolls are, yeah, and I was so. basing it literally off Scotland's having the black pudding. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was thinking Scotland has black pudding, but I thought this might be uh, a trip up, and that actually yeah. it's something it comes from somewhere else. And I know that in Romania no, I mean, they make a lot of meat dishes. Yes, yeah. like so. uh, you're like you're not wrong. Like you weren't wrong necessarily there, um, Helen, because yeah, like blood sausages are like prevalent all over Europe, um, Spain, and uh, a, a number of Eastern European countries uh, do have them as well. And the longer I looked at poutine, like. The 
spelling of it, the more it sounded Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Very valid. Oh, uh, Lady Marion's ground says, fun fact, we used Pachin on our Christmas pudding. It burned for 10 minutes and cooked the pudding on that plate. Um, wow. Yeah, like, Pachin tends to... Pachin tends to vary between 40 and 90% depending on who is distilling it oh. uh, in their backyard. <laughs> or, um, although these days, oh you know, it is pretty firmly God. regulated. <laughs> uh, so that brings us to the scores before the final round. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, God. Uh, we have Nico in third place on 10 points, sir. Uh, Mike in second place on 15. Uh, wow. And Helen in first place on 19. God, uh, I did so well in that round. You did amazing. Thank you for Lee, letting you me can... have that point, Helen. I appreciate that. Mike, you can absolutely still catch me. I'm terrible at flags. <laughs> I will not get a single flag. I can tell you that right now. Helen, again, you... you do you know what? I'll let you find out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so... We move on to the flag round, because what would any self-respecting geography quiz uh, be without a flag round? Uh, and if you haven't got uh, a flag, you can't play. Indeed. Uh, so, question number one is for Mike. Uh, I don't have a flag. Now, I think I know what Anil was thinking when he made this, because he thought I was going to say Poland, but Poland's flag is the other way up. That's white on the top and red on the bottom. <laughs> is that the right way around? Oh no, now I'm doubting myself. But here's the thing, what other country would that be? <laughs> it's, like it's definitely not Poland, but then what would it be then? Yeah, I know, that's what I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> we should have watched Annals Eurovision thing from last year. <laughs> we probably should have, yeah. I took part in Annals Eurovision thing from last year. I represented Belgium and everyone hated me for that because I picked the wrong band. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I don't know what other country this would be. I je to Nico's point, I don't know what other country this would be. <laughs> so, Poland? <laughs> it's not Poland, no, you are correct. Poland. It is not Poland. The Poland is the other way around. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, again... Throw this in as a little bit of a, a a little bit of a throwback because the first flag we started off with last year was Poland. Uh, yeah. Oh, I sh <laughs> oh okay. Um, but Nico or Helen, would you care to hazard a guess, Nico? Morocco. No, I'm no, afraid it's not, not Morocco. It's not Morocco. For a minute, then Nico, I was like, did you just try and throw me off the scent so you could sneak no. in and sneak a point because you were just like Morocco? <laughs> no, I just thought if I sound confident. <laughs> Then the answer will be right. <laughs> but no. uh, uh, I don't know. Yugoslavia. Uh, alas, no. Uh, also, Yugoslavia does not exist anymore. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nico, you have you have you have banded this country around a lot today. This is Indonesia. Oh God! Now I should have stuck to my gun. <laughs> I would have also accepted Monaco. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the Monogasque flag. Yeah. Helen's <laughs> dead. Monogasque flag is almost <laughs> exactly the same, but it is a fraction shorter <laughs> than the Indonesian one. Oh, wow. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Literally, the only way the two differ is in length of the flag. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Helen, are you okay? <laughs> Number two, we go to Nico first. Uh... <laughs> have we broken Helen? Yeah, we have broken Helen. <gasps> oh, you sneaky sneakerson. Oh, uh, God. This is either Australia or New Zealand. Oh, Jeremy God. Jeremy uh, Cribb, oh. I was talking about Monaco, uh, is the other one. Ah. Uh... Mike was out. <laughs> um, Is that what you say to yourself when you're not sure? <laughs> Whenever I make noises like that, yes, I do. I, I immediately go to like what other things have made that sound. 
Do you know what? That's really nah, interesting. Nah. I end up singing to myself. Like my most <laughs> recent thinking song is "What's Love Got to Do?" Got to do, got to do got with to it. Do, babe. Yeah. Um, I'm not allowed to sing "I Miss You" by Blink One Eight Two anymore because I uh, sing in a Yorkshire accent and they don't like me saying it. Miss ya, I miss ya. <laughs> Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> is it New Zealand? I'm gonna go New Zealand. It is not New Zealand. Oh, uh, Mike. Me. It's Australia! <laughs> Correct, it's oh. Australia! <laughs> Aussies! Oh, Nico. We're coming back! Oh, Nico. We're coming back, Aussies! We're doing it! <laughs> well, it's one of the two. It's not my fault you have the same flipping flag, except some stars are a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> the dip, do you know the oh. difference between the two, though? Well, one of them doesn't have white stars. The other one's got like, like a bronzy golden stars instead. Uh, reddy yellow, I think, on yeah. the new flag. But yeah, the constellations are different um, <sighs> on the two. Uh, Nico's going to be in trouble. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to... This This is my resignation from Rusty Crow and everything else associated with it. No. Mate, mate, if you're resigning on the back of this, I think I'm out too. So. <laughs> it's been real rusty cool streams. That's the stream team gone. Uh, we, we, we move on to flag number three and Helen. Uh, which mate. flag is this? It's easy. Oh, is it? Or is it a red herring? I mean, it's got a red oh, field. That's, okay, this hey. is my actual ad answer. But this is my actual answer. But that's the Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually a white um, cross. <laughs> that's how they get, yeah. Uh, that's how they uh, get. Yeah. I have... It is. I have seen this before. That's as far as I can go right now. Um, I feel. Um. <laughs> Denmark? It is not Denmark, though I can see why you would think that. Uh, Mike? Uh, is it Switzerland? Okay. <sighs> Correct, it is Switzerland. Uh, because when uh, April showed her tanks in um, in the game that we played, she put the Swiss flag on the side and said it was a medical <laughs> tank. Yes, gaming, everyone! <laughs> Come on, gamers, let's go! <laughs> War Thunder for the win there, I see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, another point for Mike there. Oh, uh, number, that, Mike. <laughs> number four. Uh, we move uh, for Mike. Oh, Lord. I mean, just to say, this is a cool flag. Uh, it is. This is a very please, cool Could flag. you reset the buzzers as well? Oh, sorry. Yes, I do apologize. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, did I buzz over you, Nico? No, no, no. I just haven't oh, no, reset no. them for, oh, okay. for, for the next one. No. So my gut instinct, right, is that this is one of the African flags because I know that they have a lot of greens and yellows and reds and like sort of those kind of color palettes on a lot of the flags in the area. <laughs> so that's where my head is at. I think this is one of the African nations. Um, But which one? I'm fairly confident... No, actually, am I? No, actually, I'm not that confident. I'm, I'm still, I'm fairly confident it's in Africa. I was going to say something then, but I, I'm going back on myself. Are you still in that left field? Because I think you should come back. Do you think so? Yeah, getting a bit chilly out there. I'm going <laughs> to nice say yeah. this. This will be a guess because I genuinely have no idea. Mm -hmm. Is this somewhere like Nambia? Uh, no, I think you're thinking of Namibia. Mean, yeah, Namibia, sorry. Do you yeah, mean no. Namibia? Yeah, I mean Namibia. Uh, no, it is not the flag of Namibia. We laugh, but I've never even heard of this place, so... Uh, would anyone else care to buzz? Hmm. Hmm. Namibia Ooh. and Narnia's love child. That's where I was. <clears throat> it's... Hmm. Helen? Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Nico. Hmm. Hmm. 
you you are you were right you were right this is an african country uh, okay I know there goes a, my I know guess it's <laughs> no it's definitely an african country it's definitely not the one in the caribbean then <laughs> no <laughs> not quite oh shoot I because do just... you know why i say that because that's where my head was as well yeah nico uh... i'm just gonna guess ghana no, no it is not. not ghana helen congo no this is the flag of ethiopia oh, oh no, no, that's never. no okay. way yes yeah dude ethiopia has like such a badass know. flag it's a really nice one yeah uh, so moving on to number five, Nico. Howdy. Uh, flag number five is for you. Which country has this as its standard? Uh, oh my god, god. It's very. Nice. This is sort of like Western Asia, Eastern Europe territory. Oh, maybe not. But that's where my head's at. I'm thinking, like, if you're in that sort of semi bit in the middle and you're trying to stand out and say, hey, I'm not from Asia or Europe, or maybe in one of these countries, what would you draw as a flag? And <laughs> I think it'd be something like this. Can I ask a question? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Which, which may or may not help. Right. It, is the white the background? No, or is that no. Part of the flag? Okay. That's not part of the flag, right? That's just the background. Uh, so, the, oh, the... okay. Flag, the flag itself is the um, is the like the double triangular pennant. So. See, but now I'm thinking if it's just a triangle bit, it reminds me of like a medieval time, and my mind's just gone to Knight's Tale. I'm thinking it's Ulrich von Liechtenstein, but it can't be Liechtenstein. But that's where my head's gone because you said that. That's a good movie, by the way. Watched that the other week. It's really good. I'm gonna say Morocco. Is not the Moroccan flag. Uh, no, it's not the Moroccan flag. Though. Mike, Mike. It's Liechtenstein. Because the only reason I asked that was because we covered this in the last geography quiz. We did. Uh, and you told me that there's only one country whose flag isn't square or rectangular. And that is. Oh my god, the name literally just went out <laughs> of my head. No! Oh my Yorkshire. god! It's Yorkshire. It's it's um, not Yorkshire, Mike. <laughs> it's not Yorkshire, no. It's um... no. These are all countries. I've not put any states or provinces or cities. Oh so. my god! My mind has just gone totally blank. I knew this. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn it! Oh my yeah, I should, God. Made, I should have made the background the same color as the the no, slide. No, it's good. It's not good. a rectangular flag. Uh, it's um. Oh my God! Mongolia. It is not Mongolia. No. Oh, sh Helen, would you care to have a guess? Oh, I keep forgetting Helen's Helen's the dog. I keep looking <laughs> over to Helen in the thing, and it's not. <laughs> It could help to picture yourself as the flag. Do a bit of role play. <laughs> You're entering Trexel Geisman territory. <laughs> <laughs> yourself as the flag. Because um... the crescent moon means that role at some point. Vision initiated. <laughs> the crescent moon means at some point. At some point, it was part of the Ottoman Empire. That's what that tends to symbolise. I can't remember what the stars mean. It means you are their star. Oh yeah, that's true actually. They get two stars for being extra good. Yeah. I know I can't guess. Okay. I don't want to. Uh guess. Mike, you were right in that I said uh in exactly what you said that there are often two flags which often which come up on um flag trivia like this. One being the the Bhutanese flag which has the dragon on it. Uh, which was the orange and yellow with the with the dragon on it. And this is the other one. This is Nepal. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. 
Oh, uh, it's okay. At least you didn't get Australia wrong. <laughs> Deco. <laughs> Number man, I didn't. I didn't just get. I didn't just get that wrong. I got. Oh, Sweden make your batter up. Oh man, the batter up. Yeah, I got sweet wrong, dude. Sweet. That's significantly worse for me. <laughs> oh lord. Is this this is? Is this mine? Uh, no, this one is Helen. No. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> or rather, Helen first guess on this one. No, that's like I don't. That's that's no go for me. That's like a licorice whole sort for me. <laughs> Uh, uh, Romania. <laughs> it is not Romania. I, I actually know the flag of Romania. Do I get a I point don't. <laughs> so, Nico this is speaking or... to me. Either mm -hmm. people eat the uh, the the Bassett's licorice all sorts, <laughs> or it's some form of specialist burger. <laughs> I just thought it was like Poundland Denmark, where they just <laughs> took one of the stripes off. Wow! <laughs> oh, wow. It's a joke, it's a joke. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, these folks are not going to be happy with that. No one's happy with me right now. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> you can see what I mean, though, with one of the stripes missing. It could be. It's like. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's like there-ish. If if mm. the guy if, if the dog <laughs> visualizing it, if you're a country that got pissed off being called like the budget hands Norway, Denmark, <laughs> whichever one it was, Denmark, <laughs> where, where would you be? You'd kind of be, you know, like there-ish. You know? <laughs> it's not gonna be. Oh, well, maybe it is one of the ex-Soviet states. That's a really interesting idea, actually. Yeah. If you were one of these countries who just got their independence from the USSR, which no longer exists, and you're trying to be an up-and-coming country, and you didn't want to be associated with Denmark, which <laughs> one would you be? <laughs> which, one of, which one of that screams one of them countries? I'm trying to think of it. Oh, where was there was that place where a person used to work with came from, and he used to try and sell me beers from his country. Oh, what's it called? Ah, it's one of the ex-Soviet states. Would Slovakian it... Nico, that's so many. I know yeah, that is, there are a lot. Of it's not going to be Poland. States. It's not going to be Austria. It's not going to be Russia. It's not going to be Serbia. I think it starts with an E. Nico. Is it is Estonia? It is not Estonia. Oh, see if that was right, I would have had the whole room cheering. Oh <laughs> yeah, you actually <laughs> would. You actually would. <laughs> Mike, you are you have a guess, sir. Uh... See, I'm with Nico on this one, and I think it potentially is one of the ex-Soviet states. I think it comes from that part of the world. I think it comes from somewhere, possibly on the border of Russia. But I couldn't even begin to guess where. I mean, if you're guessing an ex-Soviet state, then yes, border of Russia would be appropriate. <laughs> yeah, but there are some ex-Soviet states that don't border Russia as well. Aren't there? Not directly. I thought that there was that little bit that sort of sticks out into Europe at the top. You know the little bit, right? Yeah, because we, we talked about this last time. That's Kaliningrad. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, or am I... In terms of... I'm pretty sure that every former Soviet Republic uh, still technically borders Russia. Because didn't Romania get invaded by the USSR, or am I misremembering that? They were never part of the Soviet Union. No. They were never part... Of, they were communist no, for a long were, time, though, weren't they? They were a communist state, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe behind, I got that wrong. They were then. behind the Iron Curtain, but they were never part of the USSR. Um... <clears throat> Fine. Well, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even begin to be able to know Moldova. I've got no idea. No, it's not Moldova. Nico, you were so close. Uh, 
You were so, so close, Nico. Oh, man. It, it's Latvia. It's oh, Latvia. Oh, oh. So, yeah, former Soviet Republic. I've been there and everything. <laughs> and, now you, and now you understand why they would be very annoyed at being called a Poundland Denmark. I, I said the flag was similar yeah. to... <laughs> 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 yes, I can. <laughs> Latvia, I apologise. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lovely um, flag. Yeah, this is uh, Latvian. I thought somebody might have guessed Austria, given that uh, Austria is red, white, red, uh, um, but different shades, and the bars are equal size on the Austrian flag. Uh, oh, so I we know move... the British flags, and I know um, two African flags, <laughs> and I know the Japanese flag. That's a lot more than I know, to be honest with you. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, number seven, we move to oh, Mike. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Um, is this Mexico? Correct. This is the oh, flag man. of Mexico. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I recognize it from... So I can't even think of where, but like, yeah. yeah. From Mexico? It not with I've never famous, been to Mexico. Um, my gap year didn't... I mean, uh, my business my gap didn't car. extend that far. <laughs> Uh, yes, with its uh, famous um, eagle on uh, eagle strangle, well, eagle devouring a snake uh, or eagle fighting a snake uh, on cactus, um, which is the crest and like one of the, I think it's one of the myths with regards to the founding of a city. He I can't quite remember which. And yes. the attack. <clears throat> he does indeed. Uh, well done, Mike, for getting the point for Mexico. <laughs> Flag number eight is Nico. Uh, Yes, for Nico, what country has this flag? Oh my gosh. Be before I say, Mike, I'm pitching your time with Sony where they tell you to go to random countries and you have to sell one PlayStation to fill your quota. So you go <laughs> off the plane into a place, look at the flag, can't figure out where it is, and then you go and ask with budget line <laughs> translation and go like, would you like this PlayStation? <laughs> and they go, yes, and then that's your quota for the day. And then you go back and you pee that 12 uh, more times. <laughs> is this Argentina? This is not Argentina. Oh, god damn. Mike what? or Helen, would you care to... Uh... Oh, no, it's not Argentina. I know what Argentina is now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's the colours. The colours are right now. <laughs> Mike is common sandy PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sell a PlayStation to this flag? <laughs> it is a Costa Rica. It is yeah. not Costa Rica. Um, you are in, <laughs> as in, well, as you and Nico are both in the right part of the world. Uh, Mike, we're in Asia. Right, we're in Asia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. You mean the Costa Rica of Asia? <laughs> just, just <clears throat> trust me in this one. You don't need to look. Okay, all right, I won't look then. Thank, thanks, Nico. <laughs> Is it bad that quite a large part of me just doubted every bit of knowledge I had about Costa Rica? I'm not going to say what I was about to say there, but so, that would be very mean. Um, oh, and Oh, and Now we can all imagine. What you need to think of, which flag annoyed the sun so much that they had to pull it on the flag to say sorry to the sun. Oh, is this <laughs> Tubby Land? Because they got really annoyed with the Teletubbies sun after a while, huh? <clears throat> no, it can't be that. This I is want a... some Tubby Toast. I would love some Tubby Toast. Mm. Um, I, I know, it's the budget in the Rusty for some Tubby Toast. <laughs> given, given the... <laughs> Any machine that would produce Tubby Toast is in, is invariably um, <laughs> mouldering the back of a um, uh, uh, a BBC warehouse. Uh, I don't believe that we have the budget he's to go gone. and get. He's he's gone. <laughs> he's left. Okay. He's actually left. Yeah. <laughs> We've oh, never had a yeah. walkout on our streets really... before. <laughs> we had to take a moment. We've, we've let him down. Oh. Let <laughs> Sorry. Him down. Sometimes I listen back to what I've just said in my mind and realize that I really just ask the head of communications, the community manager panel, if there's room for Tubby Toast in the RQ budget. And I answered sensibly. <laughs> if there was any stream for Alex and Hannah just to pop onto, I wish it was that moment. <laughs> oh. 
Well, Nico, you'll be pleased to know. No, can, you, can you imagine? <laughs> uh, Mike, do you have a guess? Um, I genuinely don't. No, I have no idea. Is this... Um, is this... Uh, uh, Crete? No. No, it's not. Um, Nico, you were... Ho again, you were so very close. Uh, this is not Argentina, but very similarly. Uh, ah. This is Uruguay, uh... Oh yeah, yeah. I can see it. But yeah, yes, they, they, I, I can see why. Yes, this was thrown in to make someone guess Argentina. They did um, annoy the sun. That uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. The Argentinian, the sun crest is in the center of the flag, and the stripes are and fewer stripes. So. Crete is a yeah, country, colors. no, but it. No, it but places do have flags independent. <laughs> They do, but I did say these are all national flags. So. Yeah, but I don't know what a national is, Anil. I've been to a grand one before. <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think we, I think we are demonstrating the uh, that is very clear, Mike. My... <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Michael. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Um, this is all for goofs, uh, goofs and gaffs. I'm, I'm not taking any uh, of this seriously. Flag number nine. Apart from uh, the quiz. And this is over to you, Helen. Oh, um... I feel like I do know this one. Uh, oh god, but I don't actually do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Oh, it's a very, very good flag. It is a very, uh, very it's good flag. flag. It's an amazing it flag. The colours on it are the uh, the black power co colours. So I feel like this must be one that m like made itself independent, probably late sixties. Um, the spears and shields, I think, have something to do probably with the. With like a legend or of like a famous empire that they maybe used to have. Oh, I think I may know this one. I think I may know this one as well. I'm only like 50-50 about it. Yeah. Oh, I've had way too many jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to. Guess Tanzania. It is not Tanzania. Uh, Mike. Uh... So quick. Is this Zimbabwe? It is not Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah. man. My guess is Trinidad and Tobago. It is not Trinidad oh, and Tobago. Oh, well, Helen, free for free. <laughs> Helen, you were very close, sir. Uh... Uh, the shield and spears are of the Maasai people. Oh, this is the flag of Kenya. It's Kenya! Kenya. Yeah. Oh, God, Kenya! Kenya well. Where the giraffes are! I've been to Kenya! And the zebra! Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, moving on, flag number 10. I this have one walked around Nairobi. I am so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, flag number 10, oh. this is for you, Mike. Oh man, this is a this is a stunning flag. <clears throat> it really is. Uh, By the way, for anyone I, who didn't get that, that was a Weebles stuff reference, and I don't think anyone <laughs> watches that anymore. <laughs> that uh, just unlocks like a hidden it. memory in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where this is from, I wouldn't even be able to begin to guess. Um, so this is going to be a total shot in the dark. Um, I think that... God, Anil, your hair is so fucking glorious. So it's like I was having trouble hearing. So You've like... even got the flip. Like, oh my God, you, you are nailing that hair. Um, Thank you. So I think... I think this flag is from the uh, Stan is <laughs> I... no <laughs> um this is like that. gonna be from 
uh, I don't know. It'll be from, I reckon it's from one of the little islands, maybe. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I'm, I'm going off mythological creatures being a big part of uh, cultures. Mm. And my, my sense is in... Oh, you've not guessed yet. I don't know yeah, what yeah, my guess is in that sort of... Yeah, well, I actually haven't yeah. guessed I mean, to be fair, I think at this juncture we all know I'm going to be wrong. So I think it's, <laughs> I think it's probably going to be somewhere like... Um, uh, I know that this is wrong, but I'm going to say Singapore. It's not Singapore. No, I know that it's not. I know. Nico or Helen? Uh, um... I'm gonna guess Philippines again. <laughs> One not day it'll be. Can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> if you just pulled it out of the bag then? <laughs> oh man! I I really wish this were the Philippines for you, Helen. Um. But That's alas, okay. it is not. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Indonesia? Uh, I'm going to let you take that back because we had Indonesia at the top of the round. Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> Tibet? <laughs> uh, no, it is not Tibet. Uh, uh, oh. Nico, you have said this one already. Oh, this no. This is Papua New Guinea. Oh, yes. it's Papua New oh, Guinea. Oh, so my oh. logic was right. Oh my yes, god! Yes, it was. Um, so Southern Cross uh, is the stars, I believe, and the outline of the bird is a bird of paradise. Uh, yeah, heckin' uh, good bird. Uh, bird of paradise. I need to look at that. There are so bird many birds of... of paradise, dude. There are there are so many. <clears throat> Number eleven. Oh, that is pretty bird of paradisey. <gasps> This is for you, Nico. Uh... I think I know this one. The checkered look is big Croatian vibes, but I can't remember if they're just all about the checkerboard look or whether they added stuff to it. Because I can, I can see, I can see it back to the World Cup, whichever one it was, and uh, England got knocked to. By Croatia, I think. I could be wrong in that. Did that happen? I can't remember. England didn't make it through to the final. I'm pretty sure England have met Croatia at a World Cup. Uh, but it but wasn't the most recent one. <laughs> I can't remember whether it was a knockout one or not, but... <clears throat> oh, but it could be like Luxembourg. If you were Luxembourg, that's got quite a good, strong Luxembourgian <laughs> look about it. And you go to Luxembourg on the way to Italy if you're doing a road trip because Luxembourg is its free city state thing. And it's got ridiculously cheap um, fuel and amazing chocolate. Which clearly they would have identified on their flag. <laughs> <laughs> I d I've... No, I'm going to say Croatia. Correct. This is the flag of Croatia. Oh. Yeah, it is Croatia. <laughs> That's one of the only ones I've actually oh, known. No. <laughs> I just I can't remember if they're just old checkerboard or not. I'm glad it's oh, no. But you. you've, you've got it right. That is the checkerboard <laughs> um, that denotes Croatia. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, well good work, done. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, not jelly beans, but squash. Half squash. Flag number twelve. Uh, Whoa. Uh, this one goes to you, Helen. Uh, <sighs> Whoa. Oof. That's uh, oof. Someone That's is proud one. of their building. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they very much are. Said building being probably the most visited tourist attraction in the country. Yeah. Oh really? <clears throat> I mean, it's going to be the most visited place if you're going to put it on a flag. Neeks, also just to say you got the first shout of Pog of the stream. <laughs> Did I? Yep, you got hey, our first Poggers hey. moment, mate. Good work. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oh, yeah, I was like, when you when you said I think it's Croatia and then went off and then started and then started trying to like doubt yourself, it's like, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yes. I am um, going to guess. Uh, 
It's Peru, just from the building. Uh, mm -hmm. This is not Peru. Mike okay. or Nico? Which place is very, very proud of their buildings? Well, I mean, there are a lot of places that are very proud um, of their buildings. Yeah, there are many places. Uh. Architectural heritage does tend to be one of the signifiers of a nation's state. Mm. <laughs> Some people are really into the ships more than the buildings. Mate, think of Portsmouth. Portsmouth is really proud of their buildings. They put that giant Spinnaker Tower up in there and they were like, oh damn, we'll stick that on all of our tourist stuff from here on out. Is this is this an off-self divide between us again, Mike? Could be. I know of Portsmouth. I've never been to Portsmouth because that's way too down south that. Aye. Aye. Yeah. It is I just fact, know those. Is, is right. It is in fact on the Portsmouth flag, which they fly off of the Spinnaker Tower. Do they spin you on the Spinnaker Tower? They do. Right round, baby. Right round. Like a record, baby. <laughs> so that sounds right like round. a good... Right round, round. Right round. <laughs> that sounds like a good IQ meetup place. <laughs> <clears throat> So, Mike, Nico. Is this one Tibet? This is not Tibet. Oh, Damn it, that's I, what I was going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this... Uh, is this... Um, Moldova? No, it's not going to be Moldova. Is this... Um, uh, is it... Like, um, oh god, what's the name of that thing that's next to the, the place? <laughs> helpful, Mike, helpful. Mike. <laughs> what is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I, it's, it's like. Maybe Weymouth? It's no. not Poland. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Could be the flag of Weymouth. It's not. Is it not? You you would be very hard pressed <laughs> to find the country to find of them. Weymouth. Yeah. Well, also, I don't think Weymouth is particularly well known for the temple complex of Angkor Wat. This is the flag of Cambodia. Oh. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you would have thought that civilization would have taught me so much more, huh? <clears throat> oh. Yes, this is the flag of Cambodia and uh, the Temple of Angkor Wat. Uh, <clears throat> oh boy! Uh, Very noted on its flag. Three more to go. Uh, All right, Mike. I'm ready to be destroyed. <laughs> Oh. Flag number 13 is for you. Is this the one that we talked about earlier? Is this, this is Libya? Called... This is not Libya. Oh, oh you were so you were so in it. I feel like they've got their color theory pretty nice. That's quite a nice blend of colors. They're all the primaries, aren't they? Apart from yellow, depending on where you come from. Helen or where Nico, you you care to guess. Uh... Where'd you come from? Oh. Caught an eye jaw. No, this looks really similar to the Gambian flag, but I know it can't be because you wouldn't do that. Nico. Is this the Gambian flag? Correct. This is the flag of Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> Nico. Nico. Get in the bin. Nico. <laughs> Nico, get in the bin! <laughs> Anil! Anil! You weren't gonna get it, you said they wouldn't do that to you, so it couldn't be. I've been betrayed! I looked at it and I was like, that looks so similar to the Gambian flag, but it can't be. There must be something like. Like one of the one of the... whatever you're saying, you're pulling out. <laughs> it has been lost. To the... <laughs> it's been lost to the ages. The 
Uh, no, this is the flag of the Gambia. Um, oh, Rose is yep. Helen, how could you not under... How could Anil, you not? Anil, why? <laughs> I thought you would get... I thought you would buzz in and guess it. Anil! <laughs> Anil! I did! I did, but I don't trust you because I keep making the wrong guess. <laughs> Oh, I feel like that guy um, from the meme who's just like laughing relentlessly for like three minutes. Is I'll, I'll need to find a video because I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> oh. This is my country. How this is, is I can't, I, Helen. I can't hear you. Oh. I heard said this is my, and then it cut out. <laughs> she said this is my country. How dare you, Nico? Don't pretend you. Well, can't wait, hear it, wait, 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 hang, hang, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You made at least six raviolis, I think, or five. <laughs> you said this can't, this won't, can't be the Gambian flag. So I took that as like, well, okay, well, it's not the Gambian flag. And I'm going to guess it is the Gambian flag. So, you know? I am. Shocked. I am now very calm. <laughs> I am extremely calm. I know, huh. I, ca I was looking at this. I was thinking that looks exactly like the Gambian flag, but I bet like one of the rows is slightly too big no, or the, something. There's, no, there's um, no trick here. It was just. I know. I own. I own a Gambian flag. <laughs> oh, good. That was, that was the. I'm not gonna win the quiz, but if there was like a MVP of the quiz award, I feel like I won it there and then. For, 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 and yeah. the thing was, if I did get the Gambia and it wasn't, I would be even more disowned than I currently am. But I mean, I couldn't guess Australia twice in this quiz. So, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Why don't we have a backup flag bit where you no. guys can buzz in if you think you know the answer? No, I don't want any flags. <laughs> I will never look at another flag again. <laughs> we have two more to round out the round, folks, and yeah. then we yeah. will bring quiz to a close. So we've been doing this for four hours. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, this this mm. move to fourteen, and Nico, you have the shot at this one. Uh, this feels very, very, very Eastern European. It feels very Slavic to me because they're quite proud of their heritage. Um, it, it feels like it. You know when you look at a flag and it's like, yeah, I feel your culture. I feel it. Who? So like, not only did they have three crowns, but they also wanted to show off their best keys as well. Who would have really good keys? Is where my head's at. Oh, so they really like the color yellow. It's it's not that faction from Dark Souls who say praise the sun. It's not them. <laughs> <laughs> but the color yellow was throwing me there for a moment. Plus they have an actual sun in their thing, so it's not them. Plus they're not a country, and it's also fictional. <laughs> Is this... Going back to when I was talking about A Knight's Tale and Ulrich von Liechtenstein, is this the flag of Liechtenstein? Final answer. Not the flag of Liechtenstein, although oh. you're correct in the flag of Liechtenstein does have a crown on it. Uh, Helen. Helen? Helen? <laughs> the dramatic pause I said... returns. <laughs> I, said, I said, is it Vatican City? Correct. This is the flag of the oh, Vatican City. Man, oh, that was going to be oh, my nice. guess as well. That's the Pope's crown. Yeah. Nice. That's the Pope's crown. And I know this because I recently watched the Borgias. <laughs> oh, oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> Honour yes. has been restored. <laughs> Pop culture saves the day again. <laughs> and our final flag. Of Whoa. Uh, Goes to Helen <laughs> for the first guess. Uh, oh. Naturally occurring triangles. Um, Helen, <laughs> this one is not going to be the Gambian flag, just to help you out. Nico, you are lucky. You are so lucky that 
I that we're in a pandemic right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will ride up there to Lancashire. Lancashire? I will really <laughs> love a sausage I roll at me. <laughs> Nico, you forget I'm that Helen is Helen is from the north. <laughs> I'm from the north. I'm just the opposite side to you. I will march across the country. I'm going to bring my hometown to your house. We have been um, talking, talking about triangles today, so yes, yeah. uh, let's bring this home with a triangular pennant bag. I still don't know what on earth it is, so I'm just going to say Zimbabwe and just leave it at that. I don't know it what it is. It is not the flag of Zimbabwe, yeah. <laughs> Which country likes triangles? I'll tell you where. So many. <laughs> the country owned by the Illuminati. <laughs> what? No. Air fog horn, zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's not going to be people who eat the Dairy Lee triangles because I think that's a blue. I think Dairy Lee have blue and white and red. As the, and and the, red. It's the laughing I cow, innit? The, these do not have a laughing cow anywhere on this flag. No. no, and I think we would be in serious trouble if um, <laughs> if the Laughing Cow were a mega corporation to derive a national flag. Uh, <laughs> that is also very, very true. <laughs> it feels, it does feel in that Af in Africa. It I yeah, the color scheme makes me think it's from Africa again because, like I said earlier, a lot of African fa flags have greens, yellows, reds, that sort of thing. Oh no, I think I might know what it might be. Nico. Is this South Africa? This is not the flag of South Africa. Uh, Although you colours are yeah, pretty much on 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 point there. South oh, Africa has yeah. been Is this the flag of Namibia? Is that your guess, Mike? Yeah? It is not the flag of Namibia. Uh, Helen, you said that you might uh, have a, a guess. Go on, Helen, take us home. Egypt? Uh, it's not the flag of Egypt. Uh, oh, <coughs> this right. was designed in 1966. Uh, the colours oh. are red for zeal and dynamism, gold for mineral wealth, green wow. for agriculture and forests, black for endurance, and white for the rivers and water. This is the country of the three shields. This is Guyana. Wow. That's a very thought out flag. Yeah, That's a beautiful. What, what this a is my flag. mother's home country. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> what a flag. Damn. A flag. Man, Guyana. So, uh, yes, uh, I do have, a, well, actually, I don't have a copy of this flag here. I have one um, in storage uh, uh, at home. But yes, uh, uh, on the Guyanese flag, we round out to uh, this quiz. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining uh, <laughs> us here. Thank you so much, uh, Nico, Mike, and Helen, for being such good sports. Uh, the final scores. Uh, oh my god! Oh. oh my god! I think it's going to be really close. <laughs> oh my god! I feel in, I'm in this. In third place. Uh, with 12 points is the oh, oh, in well. second place <laughs> on 18 points is Mike and in first place on 20 points Ooh. is Helen Helen <laughs> that was beautiful yeah. well done Woo. Helen good work Helen oh man thank you very much um <laughs> I'm still <laughs> inside. <laughs> I'm like, my bra Much brain fun. is a cappuccino. <laughs> well, I really hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, someone, just yeah, that was... us, someone just dropped us 40 pounds in a thousand bits. Oh, wow. Thank oh, you so, so much, much everyone who has, who has given us bits, who has given us subs, gifted subs over the day. It has been absolutely amazing to see thank you Oz, for your amazing generosity obviously no no pressure or no anything and uh, to to donate uh, please please give responsibly but it is very very much appreciated and as i say 
hope uh, hope you all enjoyed that for what was quiz number two as we revisited geography knowledge of rusty towers <laughs> i am thinking if i run this one for a third time or for future quizzes <laughs> i might make them multiple choice so um <laughs> That, that might be a better way to go about this. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful the transition, mate. Made me beautiful. Helen was the winner, so Helen gets, like, the pride Yay! spot here. There we go. Perfect. There you huh. go. So, uh, I'm going to hand back to Mike to, do, to close this out. To, uh, Thank you very much. For Cheers, Anil, and thank you, thank you very much to everyone. Stream. Like Anil has said, thank you so much, Nico and Helen, as well, for coming on down. And a big, big, big thank you to Anil for designing, creating, and hosting this entire quiz that we've done today. So, thank Anil, you thank you stream. so much. You are amazing, Anil. Work. I like writing quizzes, and I like being <laughs> Dude, Dude, it's you not did a awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> And, um, and of course, big congratulations to Helen, the winner. Thank you very much for taking part in geography, uh, Mike versus geography with friends. Um, <laughs> as, as it now apparently is known, that was originally a working title, but here we are. Um, so guys, thank you so much for tuning in at home. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming on a Amazing. Sunday. We are going to see if there are other Rusty Quillers online right now, and we will raid them if there are. Uh, I believe yep. that there should Bro be, right? The Brothers Meredith? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll have a look and see if they're online and we'll scoot you all in. over there. Please remember that we're going to use a raid phrase. Now, Helen, seeing as you were the winner, what should our raid phrase be? Silence. Uh, uh, <laughs> make it poteen. Poteen. Nice. Perfect. If you can remember how to spell it, the raid phrase is poutine. When we send you over there, make sure you spam their chat with all of our love. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. And thank you again to all of our contestants. We will be back on Wednesday with Nico's stream. Nico, what are you playing? I am playing Limbo. Hell yeah, he uh, is. Yeah. That game comes with content warnings. Make sure you check them out. Exclamation mark CW will give them to you. And we will see you on the Wednesday session. Goodbye, everyone. One bye. Guys, guys, we are out. <clears throat> Man, yay! Thank you so much, everyone, for <laughs> uh, for being part of that. Dude, you did um, amazing. That was, really fun. That was incredible. That was really, really cool. For real. <laughs> it was seriously uh, cool, man. That, that wasn't too difficult. I, 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 I may have, I may have <laughs> got wrong again a little bit. Um, you, no. No. <laughs> that that, that <laughs> just adds That's to it, dude. It funny. Honestly. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, you like, I thought points? I enjoyed Yeah. No, no one ended up with zero. It was fairly close at the end there um yeah definitely yeah. definitely thoughts and ideas for another one if we do this again oh i think um, we're definitely <clears throat> going to do this again like, oh yeah like and i know other subjects are wanted so i'm quite happy to play like i know people want me and Bryn to face off in a quiz for that somebody does but also like mm. happy like i would really like to quiz uh, other people about specialist subjects yeah of course um Dude. Like, I've got history one in mind. Uh, hey, Carol, I'll speak to you all soon. Um, um, uh, yeah, and obviously, but, uh, get, I mean, next week is finale week, so. Uh, it's going to be a big oh, week. Yeah. Oh, it boy. Is. It is. <laughs> all right, then. Take care, everyone. See you all, all right, soon. Then. Bye. 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 Bye.